Wait, did Sparksy talk? Uh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Do I need to? From here. <laughs> He's so rough. That's so good. <laughs> um, and then from there, I mean, if you want to dress him, you can give him nipples, I guess. But I just want to make sure that you know. Just want to just make sure of the situation. It's poo bear in it. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Wait, wait. No, no. Don't do that. <laughs> well, yeah, so we'll we'll go into the the morning of after Doc got his ass handed to him. All right, uh, it's not his fault. He wasn't even fighting. That was a low blow. No honor. Sorry, I don't Her. like I don't like the battle beat. I, I do. I healed her. She's awesome. For fun. So, wait, do we go to sleep, did you say? Did we, like, set up camp? Yeah, yeah I would say everyone went to, went to sleep. In a different building. Or in the woods. Or in the woods, yeah. Yeah, uh, so I think, well, I guess in that case, we've gotten beaten up. Um, still probably best for us just to make our way. Yeah. Like keep, mm-hmm. go, keep going where we're going, or are we going? In? Yeah. Everyone's healed up now. We feel good. Yay. Battle. Ready? I think so. Get three temporary hit points. I will add Thank you. On. Might need those. <laughs> No. Let's see. Six, three temporary hit points. <laughs> but does the does Mival eat in the morning? Yep. <laughs> Isla gives her a hug. Like a side hug. <laughs> One of those awkward ones. Yeah. <laughs> little pat like oh good job um let's see where am i um i can do a survival check if we're traveling through this yeah we're not even there we... i was just saying uh maybe all you can knock off one point of exhaustion no worries oh. So, you'll still have the one for disadvantage on ability checks, but that's it. Mm-hmm. Although, try, try to keep in mind, it's just ability checks, not saving throws, attacks, all of those are fine, but just the ability checks. Where are we going again? To north of Iron Slag. Yes, to the mountains, I believe. In the mountain. Your favorite place. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it should be nice and cool. If you... Yeah. Uh, good old case. It's hard to nice. climb mountains. From what I remember. What do you mean? Yeah, it's it's tough. It's not as easy as it looks. It looks easy. I mean, to some. Yeah, I won't climb mountains. But we gotta kill. I knew it. I knew you would be the one. Yeah. I don't like it. It hurts my hands. My delicate hands. Well, if we're lucky, we won't have to. Yeah, I hope so. But we gotta kill. Kill the four armed golem. Alright, we gotta get going. I'm gonna do a 
the dude. Good survival. I did survival, didn't I? Oh my god. Got me worried. Yep, you did. You I was sitting there like, oh fuck. <laughs> did I do performance? Um. It's also at this point you're kind of trying to explore the mountain, so. Oh, something else? Yeah, for stuff. I mean, survival would make sense for at least trying to. Uh, sort of lead the, the party through anything that might be treacherous. Mm -hmm. uh, but as far as uh, trying to spot cave openings or anything like that, uh, somebody's going to have to give perception. Oh. Well, uh, I would like to at least assist. Ayo. Also keep in mind it'd be a lot easier to spot stuff from the air than it would be on the ground. Hey, Quill, you can fly, right? <laughs> No, we're just gonna we're just gonna go off of that. No one's gonna oh god. <laughs> Do you ask if I could fly? Yeah. Don't you have wings? Yeah. Um I just tend to miss stuff. It's it's very important, you know. Uh I can't fly now, unfortunately. Why don't you, um, why don't you I, fly I him up there? I will do my best. Hey, oh. Wait, can, I, can I carry him? <laughs> I always forget this mm -hmm. if it's too yeah. heavy or not. No. Oh man. Too OP. Yeah, I could dive bomb. Well, not dive bomb, I could drop him on people. Surprise, surprise, bam, uh, rabbit. I, I will, I will look, I will go with it. Can I climb a tree? Can I hop? Um, to the top of a tree. Sure, yeah. Uh, what do I roll? Do I need to roll for that? Uh, let me check. How I can wrap it up, go. See, that's more of a distance thing. Um, you're a rabbit. You look fun. Big hops. Uh, you know what? Give me, give me an acrobatics check. You're hopping up, not climbing up. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Uh, it's not graceful at all. Fair enough. That's but better. you get, I would say more, maybe like halfway up into a tree. Um, also, given the area you're exploring, uh, if there are any trees here, they're not terribly tall. Does this height help me or should I try to get higher? You could try and get higher in the tree. Uh, it would it would definitely be a bit harder. Uh, uh, any any well, uh, any height helps. I will say. Uh, let me see if I see anything from here. I guess first, if that's cool. Is so, that does that work? <clears throat> okay, yeah. Cool thing about this circle too, too, is you can have it uh, fill Ooh. in. Either 
be a stroke or a fill. Okay. Um, I mean, between the three of you, with Isla going up in the air a bit, and Quill in a tree, none of you really spot much of a cave entrance. There's like one or two areas of what looks like a bit of overhang of stone, but they kind of just end maybe five or ten feet into the, the mountain. More of like pockets in the mountain, I guess you would say. They gave us instructions for this. No. I wish to go higher up the tree. Okay. Make another acrobatics check. Uh, this one being a bit harder. Ooh. Okay. Uh, now make a dexterity saving throw as you fall from the tree. Yeah, that's what oh, I was okay. worried about. Okay. Can we all try to catch him? Make an athletics check. Is that for me or him? Uh, for you. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'd say between the two of you, you only take, uh, you. Because you're catching him, you would each take it, but you're only taking two points of bludgeoning damage. Thanks, Meatball. Okay. Mad. It wasn't that. I don't know if you heard any of that. It was nothing. I think that's what I heard. But it was... It was nothing, yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah, uh, from here you don't really see much of any kind of cave or anything. You said we saw areas where there's like overhangs and some crags. Yeah. Y'all want to go check that area out more? Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Surely the gargoyle thingy's going to be there. Gargoyle golem. Four armed beast. The dude. Yeah, that one. The bitch. The bitch. Um, Alex, did we have temporary hit points? Thirty. From Isla. The big one. Oh yeah, three. You ate breakfast. Whatever Isla made. Okay, um, if y'all are climbing up to one of the, like, pockets, um, I'd say anyone without uh, a climbing speed would have to make an athletics check. Um, as it is a, a little bit steep here. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna turn into a spider. Does it have power? Fly, <laughs> fly over it. Does what? Sorry, cool. Does it does it have to be athletics? Yeah. Can we make an argument for acrobatics? No. Okay. Uh Jeff said you're turning into a spider. Yeah. 
Okay. And wolf spider. Okay. Do I still need to do anything for it? That one has a climbing speed. Honestly, no, you should have a climbing speed at that point. Nice. Um. And then Isla, what did you say? Uh, can I just fly over it? Sure. Um, I would say between flying up and checking and then flying up to this pocket, you burn maybe five minutes of flying. I think you only get half an hour. I get half an hour. I didn't realize there was a limit on your fly. Get tired. And she, that's why she mostly walks everywhere. Otherwise, she'd be like, Poor okay. little fella. Flying's hard work. That's like sprinting at full speed, but you're carrying your entire body. This is true. You're also carrying all of your equipment, which is yeah. mostly what's limiting you. So, heavy you armor? Uh, I don't know. I don't think you had heavy. No, I don't. Just it would be worse. I wouldn't be able to fly at all. Oh yeah. Um. Okay. So yeah, the two of you that. Need athletic checks. Uh, those are fine. Um, you'll make your way up to the this pocket, and it's there's enough of space that if you really needed to, this wouldn't be a terrible place to camp. But it's not comfortable at all. Uh, I love it. It's just, it seems like different. Well, yeah, it, it really is just as is a pocket in the side of a mountain. Yeah. Is it water? Yeah. 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 Are there any webs for me to spider sense that I can spot? Not again. Uh, give me a perception check as a uh, spider. I don't know what. I think it's it's still your it's still your perception. Oh, um, lovely. Uh, well, in that case, what does that mean? I get the two. Still. Uh, check the wording on wild shape. I see. Don't remember if you get any of the equipment bonuses. True. One moment. Ah, uh, fuck. I always forget where I actually put wild shape. One moment. Because uh, it's not in my spells. It's in. Wild shape. Um, you can use your action to magically assume the shape of a base you've seen before. You can use this feature twice. I have more than that now, but that's okay. Your grain expended uses. Okay, whatever. You can. <laughs> uh. Be under while you're transformed. You f the following rules apply. Oh, I don't know if I even have that on there. One second, I just have to look up. Um. I only have like the description. Uh, wild shape. Five. Some hit points when you revert. Okay, can't cast spells. Um, you choose whether your equipment falls to the ground, may merges into your new form, or is worn by it. It's always been worn. Uh, wait, worn equipment functions as normal. But the DM decides whether it is practical for the new form to wear a piece of equipment. Which would be super cute. You got help putting on your goggles. Um, <laughs> but it says it functions as normal. Well, Warner you have equipment. eight eyes, though. Well, the, the last line equipment that merges with the form has no effect until uh, you leave the form. Lame. Um, so, so anything that arguably a spider would wear or use would still work. 
But um, what is the like, thing that gives me the armor bonus? Your armor or your shield, I don't think would. I think it's, it's a shield. shield. Oh, surely I can wear it on my butt. It'd be real cute. <laughs> I don't think that would work. Like, you know, strapped around my butt. Where? Up your butt? Like what? No, like strapped like on top of it. Like a, like a turtle shell. Oh, you don't mean like on the butt, literally. You mean like the... Thorax. Yeah, what do you call it? Thorax. Yeah, that's the one. Um, well, it wouldn't go all the way around if it uh, just kind of there. Is this something I can choose? Because it does say it's up to. Wait, sorry, where is it? You choose whether your equipment merges into. Is that every time I wild shape I can choose that? Or I can choose one of those and that's just how it works? If when you wild shape, if you wanted it to just like drop some shit before you wild shape, that's fine. I just have to make um, a note of it and say that that's what's happening. Because otherwise, yes, it would also, it would go into it. Like that's how I've always done right, it. But yeah. Right. And then keep in mind if you're dropping stuff, uh, can your form actually pick it back up? True. Like like as a spider, I don't know if you could Eight pick arms. up a shield that easily. And I don't. What would it think you what, would benefit from it? What sort of check would it be to? I'm not saying we will, but to like. Can a spider pick it up? Like, what? What? What would you even do? Because <laughs> they got—they got arms. You know, they you know? don't really have fingers at all, so they probably would. They got, they've really got so it. many arms. So. It's—they got sticky arms. Yeah, it could sticky, it sticky it. Maybe it's like a key. They could, where does like, a helmet? Thread their, oh. thread their like appendage through like a little keyhole or something. But yeah. I, I think you would have to have somebody else try and like strap it to you. <laughs> um, and again, I don't think you would really rope. benefit from it at that point. Yeah, okay. Now that, that's good to know. Um, all right. So you're, you're not really wielding it at that point. You're just no. it's strapped to you. Yeah. Um. All right. That's okay. So I just get one normal perception then. Yeah. Hey yo. Good idea. Okay. Um. Oh my god. You all don't. That. You don't spot any any webs from here. Okay. Um, I would say from your angle and where you are in the mountain, uh, even if you go outside of the, the little pocket a little bit, um, the most you could spot from here is there's maybe a couple places that look like they might have caves. It's just... From your angle, you can't necessarily see into those ledges. You just see a couple spots where uh, the the stone, like the mountainside, kind of dips in a little bit and then just kind of continues. Can I uh, climb up to one of those and see if I see any more? Okay. Uh, they're a little bit farther away, so you are essentially leaving the party. Oh, can I? Uh... Uh, um, I'm, I'm just warning. Can Isla you. follow on foot? Uh, you would have to make an athletic check to climb over there, and it's it's a bit far to the point where it would probably be easier to climb down and then go over there and climb up again. Um. The, the mountainside on this side is not, well, not a sheer cliffside. It is fairly steep. Maybe she'll fly a bit more instead. Um, I'm going to... She's the one best equipped for following anyway. I'm going to do a bunch of tippy taps before I then, yes, I will go check it out. I'll try and do it stealthily though. Wait. I think I missed something. What happened? What happened? It's leaving us. I perceived some things that could be cave entrances, and as a spider, I was going to go check it out. Who? Wait, Isla left? What? That's the problem. No, Isla's following on um, wings. Okay, gotcha. Sorry, continue. It's okay. So, yeah, that's what I'm. That's it's Okay, so it's Jeff and Isla going over them. Yeah. Um, Body system. 
I would say, Isla, you're burning another f five minutes of flight. Mm -hmm. uh, this might be the best time to use it. The the first pocket you guys explore, it is just another pocket. This one actually goes like 20 feet deep. Uh, probably a bit more comfortable if you wanted to camp here for whatever reason. But it, it is still just a pocket. How what time is it at this point? Uh, this is morning, so okay. maybe like an hour or two after your sunrise. Gotcha. Now, once you've done donkey, you just have to draw you. Mm. Um, but yeah, you could, there are happen. there are several spots that you saw, so you can continue exploring. Just the first one you saw is still just a, a twenty foot deep pocket. But look at the buddies. You gotta have your buddy. Okay, so that first one was just a 20 foot and didn't, didn't have anything else in it. Okay. Uh, are we yep. good to check the next one? Going. Adventure awaits. Okay. So you guys head to the next spot. Um, this one at least goes in for a bit. Uh, looks like it might be a cave. Do I spot any spider webs? Um, I'd say yeah. We're still continuing off the perception check. No. It. Well, spiders love caves. Or... Wait, are you looking for like big spider cave? Like, no. I'm just seeing if I can. Or, like, like, I've only been able to use that spider, spider sense once, and it uh, traumatized me. I'm just seeing if I can use it in a helpful way. So you're looking for regular spiders. This is just just some friends, you know? What's it to you? Well, can you talk to them? I can spider sense the web. I don't know if I can talk I, to them. I haven't really gone I mean, that, that would that would only sense anything that's connected to the web. Oh, can I can, uh, sense things that aren't spiders? As long as it's touching the web. Yeah, well, that, that makes it helpful then. Wait, does that work on your own web? Yeah. Wait, I can make a web. Oh, so you can... <laughs> yeah, you're a spider. Wait. Oh no, here we go. It's, it's just it's the argument that it's whatever is touching the web. So if it's a web that's only spanning a one foot space, there's not really much to sense there. Mm hmm. Make geek web. Um. The only reason you were able to sense so much the the one time when you were That's traumatized by it. It was an entire forest covered in web. Yeah, that, that hurt. That hurt my soul. Okay, all good. Um, so there's still nothing in there? Uh, this one you found what looks like might be a cave, but oh. you can't see the, the back of it. Mm. All right. How far are we from the group from now? From our understanding, at least. Um, Five minutes as the crow flies. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, did I... So are, are you uh, I never chose, and so you can tell me. Oh, no, it would be connected to me anyway. Never mind. The the little mouse that Horzu made for me. I still never chose a thing for it. I don't know why. Um, I think there's one that, like, has it glow or something? Like you wind it up and it glows an area. Oh, um, the uh, the clockwork, the mouse. tinkering thing. For yeah. It. So I wasn't really. I never chose one, but I think there was one like that that I probably was leaning toward. Regardless, I'm a spider. I can't take it out my ass, but um, that would have been a good way to see <laughs> um, what's down the cave. I feel like Isla's sword glows. Go on, Isla. Then <laughs> just pokes her. Go on, get to the cave. <laughs> <laughs> um, with all eight arms well, uh, <laughs> you first ladies first <laughs> you could come with me okay you'll just hear the minecraft spider sound I try behind to, like, you in. I, mean, I, I, guess I, have a giant light, I really need but... a 
a discord sound of the spider sound so like i can just play it rather no. than trying to make the sound each time because no. <laughs> like that's that's genuinely what it is each time is that fucking sound wait one second i'm working on it <laughs> can i like try to sneak in i don't know i have a light but can sure. i like try to be quiet yeah i mean you can still make a stealth check yeah. visually speaking you're you're visible but you can still try and be like not make noise and... yeah you know we just want to we just want a little look see okay um you go in the the cave system for a bit uh you get maybe like uh-huh. a minute in before you just see the back side of the cave okay i got kind of believed Well, gotta go back. This one being uh, a safe area that you could camp in if you really wanted to. I feel like you're giving uh, us a lot, opposed, of, a lot of, a lot of, uh, as opposed to a, a ledge that's just kind of over the mountainside. Wait one second, I'm sorry. Dude, this recording is gonna be hilarious. I'm just like downloading <laughs> spider sounds as this is happening. All right. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, that sound. Uh, spider chapel. Oh well, yeah, the this cave, if you could still call it that, that doesn't really go that far. All right. I guess we'll hit. Well, I can't say anything, but I'll follow Ella. Okay. Uh, Ella, what do you do next? Being so far away, if we do, we end up. I go back to the game. Yeah, um, I apologize to everyone, but this is what you hear. Okay, that that wasn't as bad as I thought. <laughs> Just good old tippy taps. Donk prepares her weapon. <laughs> 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 oh fucking chapel! Oh my god! Any luck, guys? <sighs> Oh my. Oh. Shouldn't have had that second breakfast. Oh. I assume, yeah, you guys made it back to us, right? I'd like to hope so. But I am spider. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, Isla, you burned another five minutes of flight. Oh boy. That's going to be crucial. Yeah, wait, can I keen mind? What did I say it was two taps yes and. Was it two taps yes and one tap no? Oh, I think so. <laughs> okay. We'll just say yes. Okay. Okay, and it was a lot yeah, of taps. Yeah, I totally forgot. Yeah, and a lot of taps is danger. I know that for sure. <laughs> extreme, oh, yeah. extreme taps is danger. <laughs> Looking like you're panicking. <laughs> Spider starts sweating profusely equals danger. <laughs> I just don't have skin. <laughs> <laughs> if you have an exoskeleton, I'd be very impressed if you could sweat. Jeffel's impressive like that. Oh, you gave him a poo bear shirt. Well, it needs to be red, but it's okay. But orange and blue are complementary. It's true. It's a very oh, good what color. Is, it's just kind of blue colored. But it's you skin the pooh bear. Now it's time for him to draw himself. With all you learned, you can draw yourself now. The chibi, I believe. Can you let me finish my picture? Okay, Jamie, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just excited. Looks if you can hear me. Uh, okay. Chibi, you and Naval. I've never seen Chibi and Naval. I don't think. And no, yeah, I have. At least once or twice. Go on, sorry. What do, what do we got, guys? Oh, I don't know. We we could, we didn't get nothing. Spider? Huh? Yeah, I'm still a spider. Uh, that was me saying I don't mm -hmm. know. Sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> saying I don't know. <laughs> the spider well, makes you guys. <laughs> did you, you, you didn't. Did you find anything? We no. We found a double tap. Cake. 
and a then better, a better cave. cave. Oh, but, but did uh, you find a four armed golem? Oh, and I think that'd be pretty obvious. I don't, I don't know where to look. It's... Me and Jack look uh -oh. scout really good. I like this being. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna lie, it's hard to keep up with you guys when you're flying around well... and doing whatever Jaffel's doing. Well, that's the problem. We're, we're good scouts, but I don't like being the villain. Don't think we could beat it just to beat us. What if we go to the gooder cave, the much gooder cave, and then we summon an eagle or something, and you could scout that way. Um, are, are you guys all gonna go on? The I'm not going on the eagle. I just don't want to keep chasing you guys around this mountain when Wait, I can't so fly. Like, we send the eagle to search for us. Well, no, you're on the back of the eagle. I know it's looking to be. It's gonna look a little silly, Isla. You're gonna look a little silly, uh, but. Is this a crazy idea? I feel like this makes complete sense. Minecraft spider sounds. I guess I'm crazy. Okay. No, I, I can't speak! I can't... No, Somebody help! Crazy. Got... You're not crazy. No, oh it's just God. it would be the same. We'd still be alone. Just with an eagle. <laughs> <laughs> guess it might be a quick getaway. We think he's in a cave, right? Hmm. So we're looking into this. I don't know if we know. You know. I've been trying to be quiet, but what if we did make a bunch of noise to try to attract it to us? Yeah, the issue is we might attract more than we want. I like that idea, though. We're just gonna, gonna, gonna explore him again. I've never been very good at finding things. <laughs> it's a problem. What do you think, of all? Yeah, isn't isn't a uh, dude with us too? Yeah, Vasco's there. Vasco, what should we do? Sorry, let me as a spider. Vasco, help! <laughs> <laughs> it's crawling on him. <laughs> <laughs> he, wait, he has. Wait, has he yeah. seen Jaffel Wild Shape before? think so. He knows I'm a druid. He just probably hasn't seen the, the, what is the glory of Spider Jeff before. It's probably pretty normal to wild. Well, not really, but... But Spider Jeff, it. though? That's a sight to see. Well, Vasca has his, his instrument. It's a violin, right? He can play it. He doesn't have a violin right now. He has a harp. Thing. A harp, but he doesn't actually have a violin right this second. We're working oh, you on it. I drew him with a violin yesterday. And well, I was like, Wait, it's because he's supposed to play. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> That's all I can think of. <laughs> I mean, a, a harp's not going to be that loud. I want to know. Does he know? Would he be like really bad at playing the harp? Like, That's not. Hard. Because that's not like his, like, yeah, that's what I'm trying to think. Is like, that's not his <laughs> instrument of choice per se. So is he just like automatically good at these things? Or? I mean, he wouldn't be proficient. At least it's a strange. That's true. Duncan, I can't get over how you gave Isla time. I'm just staring at it. Hey, what? So cute. In the in the D and D chat, I keep looking at. Um. Wait, what in the D and D chat? Did what? I love with my cat ears. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's cute. It's so cute. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, so harp's also not very loud. 
It also kind of looks like she's got a get. But that just might be me. It's, Never mind. I'm just going to go back to being you. me. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> I think it is just you. You know what? It could be canon. Hey. Isla has a cat. I don't know what that means, and I'm afraid to ask. It's pretty much the same thing as thick. <laughs> Big butt. Gotcha. With two C's, by the way. Thick with two yeah. C's. Yeah. Yeah. It's all it's all feathers though. She's just fluffed up for the winter. Um like a chicken. Vasca, Vasca chimes up. Um but try sensing for it. What? Oh, you're a genius. You can sense it? Only if it's within about a mile. Oh. You can do it like a bunch well, of Well, it's worth a shot. Because we could just move a mile at a time. That's a great idea. Lead us to the nearest good cave. And points at Jaffel. Spider Jaffel. <laughs> she just like a who me with her hands. <laughs> I forget that. Must her. not swat. <laughs> Must so guess... not swat. I mean, she's like the size of like a wolf. I think like a dog. Oh. Don't matter. Like, I, like I'm not really that big compared to a dog, but I'm big for a spider. Passive for a spider. Yeah, I'm huge. Um, you're, you're probably. If anything, like a little bit larger than Isla. Oh god, <laughs> I could eat I, you. you're not as big as I thought. Never mind. <laughs> still bigger than you, though. Like, Beach. I, I think it, even for a, a giant wolf spider, I think it's still only like th at most three feet large. Yeah, it's it's pretty small. Um. Okay. Well, if y'all want to be led, um, Jaffel, Jaffel spider. Oh, there you are. Oh, my God. I didn't expect to see you. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Hi, Zickel. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, this is the show I wanted. Hey, yo. Hey. Right. No, I was trying to show oh, a cat. Oh, my God. Kitty, she got... Bring him back. No. <laughs> Bro, that was so many... Left. That's so many emotions. <laughs> All right. Let's go and sit down. Oh. Nope, and now she's got it. But yeah. I'm going to show you a more you ruined it. outfit. And yeah, now she's just sitting up there. That's been ruined. But yeah, um, um, Jaffel's going to show the way. Ah! Oh, that hurt. <laughs> Psychic damage. Ow. It's I wasn't so expecting much it. much wetter than I remember that It's so wet. Yeah, that's, that's, that's it. how it was. Yeah. Does uh, Vasca sense anything? <laughs> Thank you, Vasco. Very good. Uh, within an, like where you're currently at. Yeah. Well, sure. did we go? Yeah, we, let's do it here. First, yeah. Uh, that's fifteen. Yeah. Uh, no. Hmm. It it does last a minute. Oh, so can we like? Oh, wait. So if we grab him and like get him on an eagle, and just. Zoom to the sky as quick as possible in a minute. Can you like check a larger area? And arguably, yeah. Jaffel, you do something something equals while you're a spider. I can't. I can't say that either. Uh, no, tap tap. But um, she's gonna uh, she's gonna turn out of a spider, I guess. Schwamp. Oh, it's an idea. Hello. Are you ready for a ride? <laughs> oh no. I say to Vasco. Oh my. <laughs> uh, it should be safe. That's not this type of show. looking between you and me all. Uh, Partially confused uh, and also... Basically, we turn him into a radar dish. Has never flown before. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's super fun. Do you want to be in the claws? Or on top. Quill making mm -hmm. a note to learn feather fall. 
<laughs> yeah. From my experience, first time flyers on in claws, not great. <laughs> you sure? Okay. Um, I didn't use any of my no, wild sure. shapes to get here. Did, not a wild shape, sorry. Uh, conjures to get here. Have I? Or did we use like a horsey at the start? You're saying it's morning, uh, so. No, no, this would still just be morning, so you wouldn't have used anything. Easy. All right. Two eagles. Bow, wow. Oh, I guess we could go with them. Well, I mean, like I, I, I get two eagles, so there's no point in just summoning one eagle. <laughs> well, I wanted to, like, not send him alone because it might be. Yeah, I mean, I, I was going to ride on the talons if he's going to be on top. Because I could also use my. Wait, actually, I don't think I can. Is it concentration to do. Wait, I'm gonna look before I ask. One sec. My bloody. Uh... I was gonna try to pursue both. Um, locate animals or plants. Wait, do I have not have locate? Oh wait, I can do that. Oh, have... the... oh that wouldn't locate count. Creature. Yeah, I don't have locate I've creature specifically. I only have locate animals or plants. Do I have locate creatures somewhere else? Oh, the right. The staff has locate animals. Uh, I think as a spell you have locate creature, but I think that's like fourth level or something. I don't have I don't it remember. currently attached. Is probably the problem, unfortunately, because uh, I've got giant insect and polymorph. Uh, okay, well, in that case, then I'll just, uh, yeah, fly basket across the universe. Easy. Um, I look at the other eagle. Huh? Yeah, you can, of course. But you look for signs of the forum. That sounds good. All right. Well, yeah, Jeff is going to go on a a fun ride on the on the talons and uh okay between the two eagles only four people can be either carried or lifted um hey, we have three i'm on the ground in the cave oh that doesn't seem like a good idea we need two people to stay back at least right buddy system right buddies right Cusco's voice does Meval want to go with Vasca, or do you want to stay on the ground? Oh yeah, we have a quail. I was thinking I'm like, that's two people. Wow, rude. That's fine, I'm not hurt by that. I'm sorry, wait, no, I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> and what'd you say, uh, Val? I mean, she wouldn't want to leave him alone, but whatever. Well, in that case, wait, how many people can... can be on the eagle? Is it two? Because she could just be four? on top. Wait, four on one eagle. Well, on one, one eagle. eagle is two. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, in that case, does she want to be in the talons? They're pretty light, both of them. Don't, they, don't you think they both could be on top? Probably. Like, Probably. usually the problem uh, is we've had really heavy people. It's, it's also a size issue. Oh, okay. Um, let me double check. I think giant eagles are still only considered medium, but I can double check. I can stay on the ground with a donk if you three want to go. Giant eagle. I don't know. Giant eagles are considered uh, large or four. So like so surely. Most of, that would, most of that would probably be wingspan though. I already fell out a tree today, so you're a bit exhausted. Yeah. I I think it would be if anything, you would have like at best like Jaffel and Isla could fit on top. Uh, but between the the space that you guys take up and the, the weight Still most likely only carrying two people. Okay. Um, well it's up to you you guys how you wanna actually like do it. Like Jeff can be in a claw. We can have like a uh, uh Val and a Vasca on the top of both eagles or something like that. Um 
but it doesn't matter too much. Just whatever you want. Oh, well, you came back. Romantically fly them on a date. I think they're both in the eagle's talons next to each other. <laughs> <laughs> Sky so romantic. I don't know if I'd call it romantic now that I think about it. No. Okay, guys, be safe up there. She don't bit my die. face. <laughs> Aww. Sweet. But she okay, back. Who's on top? Who's in the towns? We'll go, uh... Yep. Um, we'll go, yeah, Vasca and uh, Val on top, and uh, me and Isla on the talons. Yeah. Didn't Val fall off a horse yesterday? Are we sure that's a good idea? I don't know, man. Just, that's just a great idea. out there. I mean... What are you doing? I don't know if I could catch her if she does fall. Yeah. You feel hey, all you feel like you're gonna fall off the bird again? Are you gonna be able to hang on? Should be. Right. Let's do it. Then. That wasn't very reassuring. Yeah. You want to stay here with Donk? No. Or you see two Andrew. Not really. They got a greater ethics of bone damage. Which is 120% bone damage. But both of the other ethics. You won't be able to catch you if you fall. Is it probably? I was say the best you could probably do Let is me. maybe like a controlled fall. Yeah. Go. Maybe she should go on the talons, right? That way she doesn't have to hold on. Might be the safer option. Okay. <laughs> I think it's also the question of would we all go in the talons? I don't want to. Daffle, it's your eagles. You can tell her where, where she has to go. I don't really care. <laughs> for safety well I don't know what's safer if she's gonna like freak out in the talons that's probably not safer gonna scratch yourself up um alright then why just why dangling it over the fucking open th <sighs> okay fine I'll stay here thank you uh huh Means a lot. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go then. Uh, Vasco looks nervous about leaving me alone. No! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> this is the worst time to be indecisive. <laughs> Like, Jaffa could not care. It's like, bro, choose choose your poison. And then it's like, I don't know. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Val? Okay. What? Get on the eagle. Oh. Okay. Thank you. I had no problems. These two did. Now you're on the eagle. Now. Huh? Vasca. I'm sorry, man, but you're getting in the claw. <laughs> uh oh. The best way to learn is by getting in the claw. But don't worry. Oracle looks visibly uh, concerned. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. You're going to be on Valve Eagle. So you're going to be perfectly fine. Uh, also, Donk's also relieved that he's not on the Eagle. Yeah. He's feeling mixed emotions. Has nothing to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> Isla. It's like, huh? Get on the eagle. <laughs> I, I, Captain. 
just gonna be you and Quill sitting in a on a ledge, just reminiscing, looking out from a mountain. And so, don't you worry, Vasca. I'm gonna be in the claw right next to you. And so, we're gonna need a si okay. si a signal system. If you if you feel anything about the golem, you gotta give me a thumbs up with the the hand that you have. But you have both now. Either oh, one. Wow. <laughs> oh. Wow. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. And so I'm going to assume if I don't see a thumbs up that we keep going until we get a thumbs up. Do you understand? Okay, but it only lasts a minute at a time. Uh, do you have to it down to cast it again. No, but I, I have to burn spells to do it. How many spells do you have? Mm -hmm. Um, I was just saying, game terms. He's the equivalent of a six level caster, so he's only got up to third level spells. Uh. Granted, the higher the spell slot that he uses, the longer it lasts. It goes from one minute to two or three. Right. Uh, well, I have a thought. But it's he's within a mile, a right? Yeah. So we could check as soon as he procs it, he can give you either a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If it's a thumbs down, just start moving. He can give you a signal when it runs out, and then whenever he casts it again, we can do the thumbs up or thumbs down again. It sounds like a plan. Because I don't really think he should fight, so I don't really think it's a big deal if he burns a lot of his spell slots right now. Just a, I mean, if he can do that to find it, I think that's the most helpful option. I agree. All right. That sounds like a plan. You ready? Okay. Alrighty. When you're ready. I I guess let's go. Yep. Up go the eagles. Okay. Um, because it would have taken over a minute to discuss all of that, so he's gonna have to recast it, uh, which burns another first level slot. And thumbs down. All right, we're gonna keep going. So, uh, Doc. What's up, little guy? How's it going? Ah, you know. It's going good. Being on the ground. Look at this view. Yeah, I fell out of a tree earlier. Yeah, I was watching. It was pretty funny. But you didn't get hurt, so that's great, right? Wait. I think uh, where where did you fall? Did you fall on like your head, on your butt? I know you fell on me, Val, essentially. But I I bruised my uh, elbow a little bit. But... Mm -hmm. See, I thought you just had a little bit of dirt on you, but yeah. Ooh, that looks a little. Ouch. No, that that is actually dirt. Oh. <laughs> I like being a little dirty. Oh. It's a healthy, healthy layer. Not like that. God, you're not even here. Getting angry. <laughs> Getting angry at a ghost. <laughs> yeah, voices are back. <laughs> Fucking had a Jaffle twitch reaction of... In the force. I was going to say you have a twi twitch reaction of going to say Jaffle shut up and then... Uh, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I don't know. It's good, good. Cool. I really feel like we're accomplishing things, you know? Yeah, so do I. Helping people, all that good stuff. Definitely. Now I got a question for you. Okay. Are you ready? I, I, I think so. Are you sure? Uh. What is your favorite flavor of pudding? Yeah, no, take your time. No rush. This is a really important question. You know, I have to say I'm a big fan of rice pudding. Really? Interesting. I always thought of you as a, a vanilla kind of guy. I don't know. But rice. Hmm. Very interesting. Rice pudding is usually vanilla flavored, so that's good. Oh. Well, there you go. See, I'm more of a chocolate pudding kind of guy. <laughs> He looks, looks down me. on his belly. Wait a second. What does that mean? Huh? Oh. Yeah, never mind. You don't happen to have some on you, do you? That'd be really cool really if you did. Uh, no, I don't think you would have any on you. <laughs> Just in your pocket. <laughs> I don't no, think even Isla would have any. Ah, it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. I wonder if they found him yet. Actually, I wonder if they're still alive and not, not having issues. So anyway, we jump back to the four of you getting a tat. No. <laughs> <laughs> They found the gargoyle. Um, Fuck. Bring it on. Are you sorry? Are you guys um, flying more openly, or are you flying like along the the mountainside? I'll go along the mountainside. Okay. Um. For the f first minute that you're flying, he gets nothing. Okay. Uh. Oof. I was going to say, if we continue, he has to burn another slot. Yep. Okay. Keep going. Okay, second, second minute, he gets nothing. All right. Uh, we can burn another slot. Uh, third minute he gets a ping. Ayo! <laughs> All right. Uh, so thumbs up. Yep. All right, we drop down. Uh, where where we can near nearestly. Wow. Most. Wait, are you guys not coming back to get us? <laughs> no. Oh Wait, I. I no, I'm just, no, happen. I'm trying to discuss with them where, where, where it is, and then we can come back. He can't tell us until we drop down, right? Wait. He also, he so can't, can I ask him with the earring? <laughs> he can't like right tell next to me. where. It's just, oh. he gets, if it's within a mile, it's a yes or no. It's, it's not a that direction or this area or. Okay. Uh, uh, the, well, mo the most he gets is there is. An elemental within a mile. Yeah. It could be yeah, the so trees back, again. Right? Okay, well, uh, are we able to do a perception or anything from where we are? Sure. When he gets the ping. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna jaffle perceive so I get two. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, both right. Jaffel and Mival, you, uh, you both fairly quickly start. Uh, that's an ability check, right? 
Oh, it is, yes. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, you both fairly quickly spot what looks like a smaller cave opening. This one's only probably a good, like, 10, 15 feet wide. Um, but uh, at least from this angle, you notice from the ground, it would have been really hard to spot this. Well, all right. Well, I guess we drop down there with the eagles because I want to discuss with the team. What I'm thinking is a couple of us should stay here. The other two go back and get the rest. And then we can all meet up here because we know it's at the least we got something going on. You know? Well, if we have two people, we'll be fine. Also, I can, uh, actually, no, I think I can just now. Uh, I usually have uh, the pass without a trace, but I don't know if I can use that with. Okay. Uh, not with the eagles out. No. Okay, so yeah, I'd wait for that. But yeah. The second you pass without a trace, they're gone. Yeah. Just zoom. No. So, um, I'd say we drop down. Like, uh, like Daffle will, like, vigorously point over there. And also, I'm pretty sure I control what the eagles do, so they can just drop down. See you, babes. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. We'll drop down there. Okay. So you guys drop the, the cave entrance. Um, it's a little bit awkward, so one of the eagles has to go a little bit further into the cave to let the other one fit. Oh. They can't fit side by side. Oh, poor babies. Um, but yeah, they're they're able to at least drop you guys off into the cave. Well, that's true, actually. Can I send the eagles just to get them back without anyone on them? Uh, I believe so. Oh, hey. oh my god! Sorry, I'm eating a tim tam. That's crazy. One sec. Um. Yeah. That could mean there's four people here in case we do get attacked. Yeah. yeah, they have to obey any verbal commands that you issue them. Okay. I'm gonna get everyone off the eagles. Wait, do you think Donk will listen if we say get on the eagle though without us there? Yeah. You think you should go? Donk. I'll get on the eagle just when I need to. So you're not there. Can I connect like a, a note to the eagle? <laughs> Good, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think I have any like rope or we'll probably have a little bit of rope. Yeah, oh. I love it. I guess I could put it in its it mouth. Got too. her back Yeah. Okay. I write a note okay, that says. Donk and Quill. We have found a ping. We are at a cave opening. Get on the eagle. Love your good friend, Jaffel Scorn. With a couple smiley face. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. So I'll get everyone off the eagle and I'll. I'll probably. I don't know if I should send both. It might be good to have an eagle here. I'm gonna send one of them. Okay, so you're only sending one eagle. Yep, so they're gonna have to fight over who's uh, in the talons. Yep. <laughs> okay, so the, the one eagle flies off. You you said the eagle's just gonna hold the note in its beak. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh... Eagle flies off. Uh, Dunk and Quill. I'd say like five minutes go by, and you can kind of see them fly off in the the distance. Um, even from here, you can kind of make out where they are. 
But after, no. yeah, probably about five or six minutes, um, you guys spot one of oh, the yeah, one of the eagles coming back. Time. No, that's weird. I think that one's getting closer. Wildly concerning that there's only one on their way back, but... Oh, no. Uh, it, it lands and drops the note. That's a say, Quill. Oh, this is dire. There's only one one way to solve this. And it's with fist to fist combat. Uh or rock, paper, scissors. I'm I'm down for rock, paper, scissors. Oh, I just realized that how could you do wrong? Could you like roll uh, a d3 or something? And one means one, no. and two means two, and a d6, and then just one to three, and then yeah, all right, yeah, I guess six works. Yeah, so what's one like? What, um, uh, one the rules. Two is rock, one and two is rock, uh, okay. three and four is paper, and five and six is scissors. There you go, if you need to refer it to. <clears throat> All right. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, wait. You're going to be so much slower, Quill. I just realized because of the fucking. <laughs> oh, no. I have to get a three minute delay. <laughs> it helps. I, can't do that, so I don't know what he rolled anyway. What is it? A D6? Yep. Oh, good. Leave us some help. <laughs> wait, no, I'm going to. I see a dunk wind. Hey! A, a, a paper corrupt scenario. But wait, is Immediately, it? Immediately, like, oh, best two or three. Yeah, I was about to say, yes, <laughs> surely. Yeah. you doing two out of three? Harry. Are we doing two out of three? And I immediately said, so. Quill's confused because. Stomp yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, you guys are leaving this entirely up to chance. Uh, oh my god, did you just? Uh, no way, you just won twice. Yeah, don't don't quit again. <laughs> That's out of five. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> oh, that's <If> cute. <laughs> winner, you know, winner goes first. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. Okay, so Doc, you're in the claws. I'm in the claws again. <laughs> All right. This is my fate. <laughs> Quill, you get to ride on a, on top of a giant eagle. Pretty cool. Quill's excited as hell. <laughs> He's hyped. All right. Uh, you get on. You get on the eagle, and then it picks up Doc and takes off. Yay. <laughs> He's flying in the wind. Um, thankfully Aww. for Doc, it, it only at least takes a couple minutes to get there. Yeah, that's the only reason. I wasn't being nice. Well, I was being a little nice. You you said you were going to fist fight him for it. I don't know if he would have That was a joke. That was a joke. Unless he said yes. I mean, rock, paper, scissors, you can argue is a fit type of fist fight. Ah, yeah, true. Especially if you do the one where you hit the loser. Yeah, yeah true. Uh, I'm not familiar with that one. <laughs> Wait, you don't... We never saw, like, during junior high. They play rock, paper, scissors, shoot, and then, like, the loser just gets hit. <laughs> By the winner. I don't know. A lot of boys played it. They just hit you. Checks out. It's just aggression. Yeah. 
teenage the, aggression. I was gonna say the, the the usual one I saw was uh, a punch to the shoulder. Yeah, like it, it's mm -hmm. not like in the face. It's just like yeah. All right. So when they get there, I suppose. Yep. Takes a couple minutes, but yeah, they they make it to the the cave system. Hello, team. Hello. Six of you were all at this cave system. Hey, it worked. Uh, at which point, yeah. welcome to the cave system. Oh. Hey, we're going to run the cave. It'd be great for us right now. <sighs> Nostalgic. Oh, I, see. I need your help as well. It's dark. It's very dark. Wait, can I take out my? Yeah, we're my in sword? like the. Um, if you're happy for me center. to have that, um, wait. Did we even find? Uh, is it tinkering? Tinkering. Eh. Oh, I did find it. Oh. It's... The best it gives off is uh, five feet of bright light, and then another five feet of dim. So it's only a ten foot light. Yeah, but like uh, it can continue uh, walking, right? But it's cute. Wait, say again. He lost I lost connection. connection. Oh. Edge. Like as in like fully internet and everything? Yep. Oh, God. Uh, Fuck. Well, they got to the cave system. <laughs> You're still recording, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I did it, you know. Are you um, able to access on your phone, maybe? Maybe. Just keep on, I guess. Only for sure. It's fine. Um, that didn't sound fine. Yeah. I'm gonna say, when you say you're fine, but you're not fine, then you just have to go. I'm use gonna be honest, I'm not really fine, but you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Don't have yeah, to play it right now. Like, we don't have to at all. Just about Let to get into the this. juice. Let me see if my. Um, Thing all. Uh, yeah. Sounds good. Give it a minute. Oh I'm shit! I have it on. Never mind. She's back. I'm on my thing. Oh. Wait, your computer? Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds clearer than it has in a bit. I don't know how to feel. Oh. Look at him, he's so good. His little heart. All right. It only took me button. two, three hours. <laughs> he's gorgeous. That's not so normal, I'm gonna say. What did, what did we decide? What are we doing? Um, Sparks, he's still there. I'm cute. Yeah, well, no, there. actually. Are we kind of terrifying, but. Oh, we keep going. Okay, we're going then. GB done. Okay. Um,. Now, Chibi Polly. Give me a okay, worst case scenario, you can try and access the the Roll20 app. At least make some rolls from there. That's the, the best I could suggest. Uh -huh. Perfect. Um, by the way, this map is not at all the proportion. Wait, I can't go back anymore. How do you mean? Um, in that, it, like, it's not, you know, every square is five feet. Oh. I've just, I've set it up so that I have the general, like, oh. junction points and the splits in the cave. But each section is different time intervals, so. It's probably, like, a long time. To get to the next, like, to get to the first split, it, it'll take, like, like, ten minutes <laughs> of walking. Um, 
And then if you go down one split, you know, hitting the next junction might take 15 minutes of walking. Um, it's not necessarily like... I'll, I'll just reveal the, the next, like the first split, since I assume you guys are going just going to in. continue into the cave. Yep. That's for sure. Um, the, the first split's like right up here. Right, let's see. Oh shit. Okay. Um but it's like I said, it's not to proportion, so it's not like you know, thirty feet into the cave and you see a split. Yeah, I mean, yeah, um, this is place. like ten minutes of walking and you get to this split. You could Um, well I guess I wanna make my mousey that sounds weird. Go down one of the uh thingies. I want to I wanna wind them up. I want to look for traps. That's a good idea. While we were walking, I guess. Okay. Don't make a perception check. Okie dokie. I would also like to keep an eye out for anything, at least just out of or the ordinary. Sure. If possible. Perception. Yep. You did say we're walking for like probably 10 minutes, right? Into this game. Yep. Should we ask Vasca to do another search for elemental or that spell? Well, want to just come back positive again? I mean, I guess it's Maybe. the check. Do we know for sure it. it's in the cave? That's, or... that's what we have no, to, yeah. Within a mile. So I guess it'd be good to do that early to see if it, we've gone too far. Because otherwise, I mean, we can... how far would we walk? Sorry. No, go on. Okay. Mile? How far would we walk in 10 minutes? I guess that's a question. Um, you know, I didn't think about that part. Because if we walked less than like half a mile, there's no point. Yeah, right? I think it was less than half a mile then. 10 minutes, I would say. Well, I don't know. It'd probably be half a mile. So anything. In, a, in a day, you can walk 24. I would say in about an that? hour, you could probably walk maybe two. So half an hour is a mile. Okay. Well, I think we'd probably, probably walk do. another 10 or so minutes and check again. Me. Yeah. So is it double and bring ethics with a Max life is one, and fire rest is the other. Let's do that then. Oh, but so I guess the problem guys... is we're gonna have to choose a split army. Right. Yeah. So you'll get up to the first junction, or the first split. Me, 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 my, me, mo. Catch a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, oh, yeah. let him go. My mom says to pick the very best one, and you are it. Where are we going? Uh, look, Lux said lift. All right. Okay. Oh my god. Like, you're, you're just good going? Enough, <laughs> good enough for me. Left it is. Okay. Um, another, let's say about 10 minutes go by. You want to play today? Uh, before you see oh, this junk. Do, oh, do we have a light source currently? We've I'm got Isla's sword. Mm -hmm. gotcha. I'm not sure about anything else, though. I've also got my mousey, but it only does a little bit. Use the cheese. I so see your, your mouse is the equivalent of probably like a nightlight. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> but not super um... helpful. <laughs> I don't remember. Isla, we use the the thing for Lightbringer, right? A what? Uh, yeah, yeah. Whatever your weapon is. Mm hmm. Well, 
The weapon glows bright as a torch when its wielder commands. While glowing, the rapier does an extra radiant damage. To undead. Yeah. Um, I think a torch is about 30 feet of bright and then another 30 of dim, where it's 15 and 15. Torch. I'm wrong on both accounts. It's 20 and 20. So, you have uh, 20 feet of good bright light and then another 20 feet of dim light, um, at which point anyone with dark vision, you can see fine for about 40 feet, and then it kind of just, like, peters off a little bit. Mm -hmm. Quill walks close to Isla. I have superior dark vision. I make sure my goggles are strapped on nice and tight. Good. I think I'm the only one who can't see. It's so surprising to me. I know we had this discussion before that the bunnies don't have a... In real life, they kind of do, but... Yeah, That's what I mean. Game, That's unlikely. Really... I imagine his hearing makes up for it. Yeah, for I mean, also, sure. technically, Donk doesn't. He just has the goggles. That's true. Right. Mm hmm Oh, that's really cute. Aww. We're gonna need another goggle. Um, but yeah, so you, you guys get another, like, ten or so minutes in, and then you have a a four-way junction. Uh, you wanna, oh, four. you wanna lock it this time? Oh, I chose last time, so. Do you wanna keep going last? Until we hit a dead end? Sure. That's a good idea. Slightly more systematic way of going about it. I mean, is there any indication of... Is there any difference between the different routes? Uh, not that you can tell. Are there any sounds coming from any direction? Uh, make a perception check. Don't forget, for you, it's a disadvantage. I also would like to. I'm just trying to get there. There we go. Oh, I did. Oh. Okay. Right. Oh. Bullshit plus 10 to perception. <laughs> Not again. I mean, I have good hearing, so. Oh, right. You got a natural 20. Okay. Um. Yeah. These radar dish ears, man. You would hear. You would hear what sounds like some rumbling from straight ahead. Um, and then Quill, I'll give you, because the natural 20, there's a very faint rumbling behind that off to the right. Interesting. I hear something down this way. It's rumbling. Do, do you think the elemental rumbles? Yeah, it is the earth ones do. So. We start heading down the uh, that path then. Yeah. I'd be down. Which one? The one that we hear the rumbling from? Middle? I well, do you hear it both straight and right? You said it was quieter from the right? Or... Yes. Hmm. 
probably heads, or at least Quill would suggest heading straight for now. But I, I would tell them that also, right here. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, we're here on a mission. Passages could very well be connected further down, so... That sounds good to me. Just uh, keep your eyes out. Right. Every creep probably the middle path. down there. Say again, sorry. You guys are headed straight down the middle path? I believe so. Okay. Do you have this way? At which point I can reveal this junction. Has the rumbling gotten louder? Um. It has. Uh, once you get to this junction, you have a, a left and a right split. I'm feeling the right. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, um, so you guys head down the right side? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. I'm still expertly looking for traps. Throwing it out there. Oh, does Vasco want to ping again? Just to make sure at this point. Oh, we do hear rumbling. That's a pretty good sign. I guess it. I, f I feel like it would be better to say that if we hear rumbling. All right. It would be good to have some spells for him. I didn't label anything for this. Oh, uh, that's fine. Okay. Uh, for this, you actually... This takes you a little bit farther to travel. Um, before you hit... What looks like... Uh, from what you can immediately tell from when you walk in... A fairly decent sized cavern mm -hmm. um, as you get closer um, kind of continuing off of those perception checks um at the, the very edge of the the light that Isla's giving off, you see uh, both Quill and Mival would see what looks like a couple brown mushrooms. Oh, that's good. Fucked up. Do I know any of these mushrooms? Um, from this distance, it's kind of hard to tell 
if you've seen them before, if you know what they would be. I want to ask Donk if he recognizes them from his cave expertise. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I've eaten mushrooms in my day, let me tell you, Jeff. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Uh, oh, God. Bad trip. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. Okay. That's all right. I usually avoid the cave mushrooms, so they're slimy. Oh, gross. We should be careful as well. Some mushrooms are poisons. So, what are you guys doing? Sorry. I don't know. Well, if there's no, nothing in there, we can get closer. We don't see anything? Other than the, the few mushrooms, like, kind of in, not in the entrance, but yeah, you're not even in the, the cavern yet. It's just as you get closer, uh, within the first, like, 10 feet of the cavern, you can kind of see a couple mushrooms on the ground. I just realized that my eagle's just, like, waiting outside. <laughs> they would have had to be, I assume. Um, I guess that's technically up to you. They would arguably fit. It would not be comfortable for them. Oh. Um, and at this point, I would say closer to 10, 20, 20. probably a good, like, 40 minutes have gone by. How long do I have them for again? Is it an hour? An hour. Oh yeah, that's fine then. I'll just leave them where they were. Um, I was just thinking I could pass us, like get rid of them and pass without a trace if we need to. I might do that actually. All right. Thank you for your service, eagles. And I poof them away. They, they weren't following or anything, but that's just what she would do. Um. And then from there, yeah, if I can have pasta that a trace from the staff, I will do that for the team. So Maybe Stella would like to, uh, mm -hmm. uh, she'd like to, uh, I guess, harvest the mushrooms with gloves on. Maybe you can sell what they are now that we're closer. I'm just going to need a team stealth to Please. Ugh. Oh, right, right. I was very quiet. A team stealth check with a plus 10 from Jaffa. Yay. Uh, let me roll for him. Just need a stealth check for Quill. Oh, sorry. Yes, plus 13 is crazy. That's actually funny because uh, Vasca also gets a plus 13. Jeez. Oh, they're matching. Um, although his score, is, <laughs> his score is dropped harsh due to the, the penalties he still has. So normally he'd have a plus 13. As it is, he has a whatever. Um, <laughs> I think even with his penalties, though, he tied with Isla at the best stealth score. Wow. So let's see, lowest is 15, highest is a 28, technically. Uh, Skewed a bit upwards. So I'll say an average of twenty four ish. Whatever. Sounds good. Over twenty. Nice. Right, to the mushrooms we go, I guess. <coughs> okay. Um Hear me. Is Mival the only one that's kind of like approaching them? I'm not approach with her. I've got oh, gloves and mushroom. many, many containers, so. 
Isla is worried they will not taste good. You're not eating these. Okay. I am. Okay. Um, oh. Meepaw. Okay. Make either. Oh, gosh. I would say a history or nature check. Um. Okay. Um. As you get closer to these, uh, you do actually briefly recognize them. And then you start to panic. Uh, you have one of two options um, because it, it took you a bit to recognize them. Uh, you can either dive out of the way or you can push Jaffel out of the way. I'm pushing Jaffel out of the way. Go for it. Okay, know. Give, me, give me an athletics check. Okay. So in a, a slight oh panic, you go, to, you go to push Jaffel out of the way. Um, you end up stumbling and uh, Jaffel, I would say either make an athletic Oh, that's ass. Check. Oh, I appreciate it, but wow. damn. Um, okay, wait. Athletics or acrobatics? Yes. I think my athletics is better. Yeah. Okay. Um... So yeah, you're not able to push her out of the way, but she is able to at least catch you so that both of you aren't falling over into them. Um, uh, however, you, in that brief moment of recognition, uh, realize these are the same mushrooms that caused a ton of psychic damage to you before. Oh, oh, um, yummer. Oh, this was when Mare got high, right? Was this no, I got high. I swear Mare, Mare got high too. Everyone. Um, no, she didn't. Her. What the fuck? Oh, I don't know what I'm remembering. I feel like I drew so Mare getting high for some reason. <laughs> Mare got went through and actually like um she was calmed me all down you. and legends. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah, and just she, she was able, uh, yeah, as an air genasi, she was able to hold her breath for I think indefinitely. Oh actually. yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I think afterwards she was a bit fucked there. No? Maybe I'm thinking of a different I think that was just oh. anger at us yeah, for being so fun. dumb. Okay. Um, the two of you, I need a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Not at disadvantage? No, because it's a saving throw. Uh-oh. Okay. Jaffel, you're able to shrug off some of the effects of it. Um, we've all, uh, in a similar moment to what happened, uh, before. What is this? Um, you're gonna take both psychic damage and you are now, uh, frightened for a minute as what looks like, um, like a dozen different, almost like earth elemental like golems are climbing out of the ground around you. Other. No. Uh, but we've all you take seventeen points of psychic damage. Oh jeez. Uh, Jaffel, you only take a nine. Okay. Oh, no, Stay. sorry, eight. Round it down. It's always round it down. You take eight. You know what? Just because I don't want to math, I'm just gonna take it off my top and have the three temp still there. That's okay. It was just a clean eight. Forgive me. Mival starts to panic and she starts to uh stall. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, uh you there? Oh no. She starts to panic and just fucking dies. Yep. <laughs> I mean that's kind of a vibe to be completely fair, but this is your beer. Mm-hmm. I was thinking you had like a hospital. You're going for it's your, your short hair look. It's going to take me two years. 
Yeah, it's gonna just take a while. I believe in you. I forgot the steps, but it's fine. I think, I think you got them quite well. You got your little dot, your two dots. Your Awkward two. pauses, we've all done something. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Um, well, I'll just... Suspense. Um, let's see. That is my water. What you can do, I find when it comes to a hat, um, I suck at drawing hats, but anytime I draw like a cap mm -hmm. or whatever, I'll sort of uh, like have it sort of, hello, have fine. it peeking out on the side mm -hmm. a little bit. So it looks like it's yeah. there. Uh, what, what did Val do as far as... She's gonna panic and uh does does it look like it's like like all all of them are specifically around me and Jaffel? Yeah, you just see like a ton of arms um from well, look I guess what looks like earth elemental like golem hands almost. Um, mm. just like hands made out of rock. They start just like clawing out of the ground and reaching for you. That's terrifying. Can I essentially do... Well, hold on. I need to grab my... Remember, I'm holding on to you. So don't be doing something crazy with me. <laughs> throw Jack. Oh. We'll throw her. Is this actually happening, or is this hallucination? Uh, this is technically yeah, all a hallucination from her. So, uh, right, so we're watching her. Yes, so... none of you are aware of what she's seeing. Wait, um, am I seeing it or no? Would no. We, oh, sweet. Would we be aware of what happened that that they would be hallucinating because of these mushrooms? Or well, I probably not, right? do. I remember. I I think I remember because Mayor told me to run last time. Maybe. Might need a history check or something. Didn't they make a cloud of dust or something around them? Yeah, they did. Um, so yes, yeah, I would give you a uh, a history check Let's or nature check, I whichever. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, you, you remember vaguely of what happened. Vaguely. Yeah. I think I drew a ma uh, mirror. Yeah, but that was I. Re I remember. Uh. We gotta get her out of there. They uh, can, can I explain what the mushrooms do to Quill? Sure. They, they they hurt you and they make you hallucinate things that are there. Cause I think they're Donkey you remember those, right? Oh yeah, I remember. Wait, no, actually, I don't remember. But I I say this thing. <laughs> You've heard it too. Oh no, um, those, those are the good good ones. No, don't breathe it in. Uh, I can hold my breath for a little bit. We gotta get him out. Eva uh, wants to um, essentially do uh, what she did a very, very long time ago with Jaffel. And, um... Scratch her up? No. <laughs> Put her over her shoulder and fucking get her out of there. There's no way. You're gonna pick okay. up your You're, you're exhausted. There's no... Oh, I mean, maybe, but we'll see. Um... Make a make an athletics check. Give me one moment, and I need to actually put on my uh, fuck. Okay, never mind. Hold on. Sorry. It's okay. I put my whole um tablet on to to charge and it didn't charge oh that sucks i feel that i've been there we have the transfer tutorial oh yeah.
uh, upon hearing that there are there's hallucinations involved, I want to be prepared to cast something on them if anything starts to go violent. Just to establish that. Okay. I have a really dumb idea I want to try. Ooh. I love dumb ideas. Sometimes those work. Yeah. Get shot over a kill. Would a hallucination spell override hallucinations from mushrooms? Is the question. Uh, no, it would just cause two different hallucinations at the same time. Nice. <laughs> mm. Brother. Okay, there we go. Uh... Well, it should still work. Or at least... Oh, I... I, it, it depends on what hallucination you're trying to make them see, but the, well... the thought process is you don't know what they're currently seeing, so... Yeah. It's, it's oh my really... god, what is this bullshit? Mm-hmm. Are you on the app? Ugh. No. Why, why does all the fucking profile pictures, because I'm trying not to use the app, but, uh, fuck. All oh, yeah, the profile pictures. Yeah, all the profile pictures are in the middle of the screen. And oh. All to the east of I said, I think the best way to, if you could try and fix that, is go to the settings in Roll20. Um... And then I believe it's under it graphics. Nope, not graphics. Somewhere. Miscellaneous. Nope. I know there's somewhere you can change what those look like. Maybe that's not in options anymore. Is that not an option anymore? All right, that's weird. That's not an option anymore. Wow, I'm back. Welcome back. Yay. Yay. Welcome back. Yay. Okay, what do you need from me? Uh, an athletics. You were trying to pick up Jaffel and then run away. Okay, um, I, I guess the question is, uh, Jeff, when Mival starts to try and pick you up, do you, what, what do you, what do you do? Uh, uh, does she look like she's gonna be able to? Uh -huh. Like, 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 is there, is there muscles contracting? Is she, is she fucking, like, <laughs> you know? Can she, uh, anything like that? It, it, it's more of, she's currently reaching to pick you up. Um, are are you avoiding yeah, it? Or like, no, what are you... I mean, uh, let her. I feel like if I avoid it, I'm just gonna accidentally push her down. 
I don't really know what she's okay. doing. I don't think I can tell. So I'm just gonna, I'll, I'll let it be. Um. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mival, you pick up Gaffle, and then immediately start trying to run away from. I mean, they are kind of surrounding you, so it's it. Uh, we're... She's gonna try and weave through what she sees. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm kidding. Where are you trying to head? Just like back down the hallway. Well, on left to get five to fifteen. Or the. I guess the hallway is the best way I could say it. Second one I had was the the passive. Question, Alex. So, uh, so Preston Digitation says that I can either create a puff of wind or also that I can instantly clean or soil an object. Oh, that's no lar no larger than one. It is connected again. Goodness. Oh. I think. So many mats from all those. Are you on your phone again? I was trying to think if I could use anything about explorers, but um, you could I clean mean, up at, some of them. I was gonna say at this point they're they've already taken effect. Um, yeah, I mean, you could help could prevent it them from without. I was gonna say you can help prevent it from uh, affecting anyone else. Okay. Can I start? trying to use strategic puffs of wind to blow the spores away from us or something like that. Sure. That is a nice thing. But oh, that's smart. In case you prefer if you're doing like a leveling build and you need to fully swap to something else. It, it takes you a bit to get used to it. I mean, it is, it is a cantrip, so it's just constant, like, every few mm -hmm. seconds you're casting it. Um, oh my god. But it's awkward puffs that are pushing some of the spores away, but it's hard to do a ton to the, the space as a whole. But you are yeah. at least preventing them from getting closer to anyone. And I would like to use it also to... Because I can, I can't do it all at once, but it, I can do it one cubic foot at a time. Uh, can I clean... If, assuming they're within range now, between the two of them. Yeah. Okay. So I might have missed it. Did she? Did she do the thing or? Uh yes, you picked up Jaffel. Um, all the hands are kind of around you. So are you running like just towards the party? Or are you just taking off down the? the passageway that you guys came from? Uh, are there are there arms around them, too? They're from the pit or world bosses. No, they, from what you can tell, they just started coming up around, around like you and boss. Jaffna. She's gonna go to the party. Okay. As you start kind of running in that direction, while carrying Jaffna, you are not terribly fast. Um, yeah. So, you start running towards the party. As you start running, um, more of the, the hands start appearing like or out of the ground around you as you're going. Um, but yes, for everyone else, uh, it looks like Mival's panicking and picking up Jafflin running towards you. Mm. Holy smokes, I didn't know she could pick Jaffa up. Um, yeah, I think she got too close to the mushrooms, guys. Uh.
no one's got any better options, I'll try and go and go ahead. Uh, there. Hug they her. get back to us, okay? Yeah, they're running. Can... I guess she's running towards you. Yeah, we can see if they make it. We can hold our breath to get them out. But I'm yeah, continuously we... puffing air at them, to try to keep mm -hmm. them towards the bay. They're doing it. You can. I, I start cheering. You're making it. I'm trying. Uh, they make it to you just I... fine. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Um, that's just the entire time from Mival's perspective. Every step she takes, more hands are coming up around her. So even as she approaches okay. you guys, there's more hands that are just kind of appearing around her and now starting to like appear near you guys. T tell us what you're seeing, guys. Uh, it's, it's just the mushrooms. Everything's all right. I'm not seeing anything. Um. Well, that's good. I feel like a princess. Kind of looks anxiously at me at all. <laughs> <laughs> Room's empty, um, except for the spores. We should probably leave. She she's hyperventilating. She can't tell you. She's just like looking around at each of the the shit. Ella goes and, and grabs her hand. Hey, look at me. Uh, the room's empty. There's there's nothing here except mushrooms, then dust. I mean, it, I I didn't let Jaffa go. <laughs> yeah, I assume you're still holding. Wait, I, I grab your like ar elbow or something. My weenus. No. <laughs> all, right, all right, we can put put Jaffa down. Good job. The the hands are still all flowing you... around you. How about you close your eyes? That way, She's that way not you registering what you're saying. Is uh, there any kind of healing spell that could help with this, Isla? I I don't think so. It's kind of in your mm. wait. Can I use the? Can I burn five points of land hands to cure poison? Sure. Mm. I do that. Okay. I, I could do that. <laughs> um. Yeah, you burn five points of land hands. Uh, we've all the hands fade. Okay, <laughs> it's, it's like that thing. Oh, oh yeah, you're on the healer. <laughs> Thank you, Quill. She lets. No problem. She lets uh, Jaffle down, and she just uh, falls to her knees, and just like, I guess, gathers her bearings. Uh, the spores aren't coming closer, right? I like look over them. No, you're fine. Yeah. Do we still hear sound coming from down that way? I mean, you still hear rumbling. Uh, not necessarily like from the the cavern. It's just kind of all around you now. I mean, if you I guys think now. we should continue heading, hmm? um, between now and the the last like split that you guys were at, where was that the left and the right fork, um. It, the the rumbling's just been kind of there. It hasn't really gotten louder or quieter as you were going down these passages, or this passage, I guess, into the the cavern. How wide is the cavern that we're in right now? Uh, the cavern itself is probably a good like. Actually, it would be too wide for you to see. Yeah, that's not helpful hmm. it's just I mean, even I getting to a... burn up some of the mushrooms but like if it's that big of a cavern then I, I might do more harm than good oh. Oh. what
Uh-oh. It's being affected by the mushrooms. Oh, God. They're too strong. It's uh, method acting. Simulate what my character is experiencing. I'm going to have a mental breakdown. <laughs> Well, I mean, oh. I was thinking you just take some mushrooms. So, you gotta no, don't take mushrooms. Robot. <laughs> Those are not edible. Well, probably if you ate them, like you're just guaranteed to like, trip badly for a while. Can you speak to us, Spark? No. Oh, you sound board. like you might be okay. You have a Ouija board. But she's not dead. Board. No, it's just her internet that said. I don't know if a Ouija board would help talking to her internet. So, uh, if you guys think we should continue going down this way, I can try to clear a path, but um, perhaps for now we should turn back. Um, did Vasca ever do his little uh, thing? Because, I don't know, like... I guess we could like we heal up not. game plan. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, a uh, game plan or whatever. But like, if this is where the fuckers are, then that's sort of what we're here for. Um, but I suppose we could go back to maybe the entrance and see from there if we wanted to. Hmm? But it's up to you. Do we want to go back to the last intersection and try the other sure. pathway? I was thinking that we go right. Well, it would be left now if we're going backwards. That's not a bad idea. I mean, there was a bunch of paths, so we don't have to go this one yet. Yeah, all right. Maybe if we go back and go to that, yeah, the, the right, I guess. Or I think those two that we did, huh? We went straight and then right, so we go... Back out to that one. Um, yes, I'm keen to do that. Um, just bear with me. I'm gonna be right back. But feel free. As to soon as go. Meatballs recovered enough to do that, I suppose. Yes. Yeah, drawing's hard. Yeah. Your shit looks good. Thank you. I was starting to work on something, but then the website kind of fucked up for me, so I gave up. I drew That's Pearl fair. Bar, so. It wasn't in the bottom, right? Yeah. Good. Very nice. How do you do it? Uh, I go into a trance state. Right? That's. I feel that part, but... It doesn't end up looking like that, that's for sure. You gave up. I feel like you stopped working on this over an hour ago. So... Yeah, yeah that was about right. 
Yeah. That's nuts. I was trying to duplicate and flip an image, and I couldn't do it on mobile. And then I broke the website for a bit, so I decided to not bother. <laughs> Is me all alive? I think so. Robit. Still a robot. A robot. I'm also wondering if it's this bad, how bad combat will be. Wait, what? No? <laughs> no? Mushroom. Maybe we are uh, mushroom was combat for that one. Oh, just okay. a thought. Maybe what? Maybe we uh type that one out, or at least Sparks can, if that's more uh expedient. I'm also wondering if, at least just for voice-wise, being on her phone would be easier. So, I have a question, Alex. Uh, with my Malleable Illusions feat, or trait, or whatever the fuck it is, yep. um, I can alter illusion spells. Uh, it says it needs to be within the parameter of the spell, obviously. So I couldn't make, you know, for instance, Silent Image make noise, but how far would you argue I could stretch that? Because, like, hypnotic pattern doesn't necessarily specify that it doesn't make noise. But it does say it's, you know, a, a pattern of colors. So, I guess I could maybe make it into a specific image instead of just, like, swirls. But... Is hypnotic pattern illusion? Should be. I'm back. Where are we up to? Yeah, it is. I've been. I've been chilling. Sparks back. Me wanting to die. Oh. Gosh. Like I... <laughs> At least that came came through. Gosh. Yeah, I was gonna say that was close, crystal clear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck's sake. And it happened like 20 seconds after I said it. Well, oh.
Uh, does that does that sound right, Alex? That that kind of idea. Yeah, I guess you could form the pattern into more of a shape, but. I feel like at least for a hypnotic pattern, like that's the best you could do. Yeah, I mean, you could argue within the parameters of the spell. It's what? What's the word? It's like, or what's the um the wording of it? A twisting pattern of colors. So you could argue like any image really could be a twisting pattern of colors. I I would say it's not anything like terribly complex like you couldn't look make it make it look like a specific person um can i make it be words that's the important thing can i have scrolling text like a billboard please Alex. yeah <laughs> it would be a dazzling rainbow of colors that <clears throat> could still fuck with somebody i mean obviously Perfect. Well, it doesn't necessarily say it's bad. It just says they're they're charmed in like a stupor, a super right. stu stupor. Right. So as they're staring at these words, they could just be staring off into space. That's fair. Every minute, it just keeps going out. I don't. Know. You got eight. Are you able to use cell service or anything like that? I I guess continue. Okay. Um. So yeah, you guys are. I mean, not fine from the mushrooms, but you're not. Me falls not in a panic. Good. Still probably bleeding a bit from the nose from all the psychic damage, but that's about it. Well, good thing we got out of that room. She's unlucky with those mushrooms. How does Vasco look? Uh, confused and terrified of what just happened. Which is fair. Also with some concern, and that you are still slowly bleeding from the nose. She wipes her blood away. Well, better. Um, oh, he can do this. Uh, he's going to cast Healing Word on you. No. He does care. And he only has a higher level slot, so he's going to do it at second level. 
Thank you, kid. Plus his spell casting, which is that so awesome. Double uh -oh. one, so you get four health back. That the the counts, right? <laughs> Good old healing word, my favorite. He grips his hand and thanks him. I was gonna heal her, but I don't wanna like show this guy up, so <laughs> gonna be honest, I don't I'd feel bad about that. Heal her. It turned a shit headache into uh slightly better still oh, on a shit headache uh, oh, my baby. Uh, but yeah so you guys have still like technically four different passageways you could explore or if you want to try and get deeper into this this cavern I think maybe we want to turn back. I mean, I have some fire if y'all want to, like, <laughs> try to clear a path through, but... I was kind of thinking that. Fire. You are going to make fumes of... of, uh... Hip whatever fucking mushrooms they are. Wouldn't it so You're probably going to make it worse. I don't, I don't think, like a think it works that way. Well. At least it, it, I don't know D and D rules, but it wouldn't in real life because high temperatures kill spores very quickly. Illusion. But that's Alex's call. And I guess we won't know till we try. Oh, wait up. Oh, wait. So they've all only got he healed a little bit, right? Yeah, by like four points. I'm going to give her... I wonder if there's more poison. I'm going to do a spell. It's a magic word. Might be visible on camera. I can't read. I can get up now. How much for not one at one up in Vasca? Yeah, I don't care. We need to. I, I won't let her die for that. I'm sorry. Uh, she's missing quite a lot. <laughs> sorry, Vasca. All right. Well, that fixes the rest of them. Like, tell me what, what device does it smell like? Is there no chat to this? Like the the phone app? There's no. not. It really nope. sucks a lot. Um, yeah, I would use Discord. The the DM pages, chat. Pages, 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 pages. Wait, that's okay. You shitting me? This is so lame. Yeah, the the it's, best you can do is actually the app. She really is stuff. It's a slipper. I can't even ready I spells. The jars now. Big yep. I have to have a list on my phone. Yeah, you can't do anything with yeah, your like really. You can look at them. That's about it. Uh, I can see them. Or smell it. I can keep track of spell slots at least. Yeah, you, you can't see chat. So you can't even wait, see what you roll, but you can roll stuff. You can see what you roll when you roll it. But you can't okay. see chat history or anyone oh, else's you, rules. Yeah. You can it gives see what you roll and you roll what you got. But as soon as you either roll something else or hit the X, it just disappears forever. Yep. Oh my god. At this point, just take out your dice and roll them. Honestly, though. Well, no, because it still rolls to the chat. So, like, we still gotta <laughs> see it. Oh, 
That's good, right? There is also a dice roller bot for Discord. Just putting that out there. Yeah, but again, for at least for the, the app, when you roll stuff, it rolls it into the chat, so... Yeah. Like, that. that's not the bad part. It's the bad part that you can't see chat or the map or much of well, anything else. Well, uh, my point was more if we tried to use Discord chat more than Roll20 chat, then we could kind of migrate the main chat history to here where everyone could see it. Instead of just on roll twenty. That sounds like I a lot of don't. It's not it, worth was, it. it was just a thought. It's I also don't want to reroute my stream stuff to Discord. Not just in case. There. Just in case, like weird shit is on there or whatever, you know. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, so Mival's back at full health. Right. I think we're going to go back and go down the other passageway, right? The right one. Yes. The, le the left one? I thought we are down the right one. I don't remember. Well, it would be left when we go back. Hmm? What if I just swallow them all? Don't do that. No, I'm oh, sitting here, I'm watching Isaac eat peaches. He just stuffed an entire half peach in his mouth in one bite. All right. <laughs> no, um, so you can you're you're going back to the the previous split? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, go back to the previous split. And then you're just going back down the, the one other direction that you didn't go. Yes. Okay. Um, I keep an eye out for mushrooms. <clears throat> I was going to say, this one, you don't see mushrooms. Uh, you do see... What looks like purple, almost like wispy looking plants, um, hmm. they give off uh, a faint glow, but within that glow, you can see there, there are, I guess, some, not necessarily spores around them, but there is a, something around them, but it's not, it's not as dense as the, the mushrooms were. Uh, but as you enter this room, uh, the rumbling stops. Oh. Why well, do you think hmm. that's bad? Uh, do we still have passed out a trace active on us? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Does uh, anyone know what these plants are? Glowy. Maybe not good. Ah. Well, they probably won't release spores like the other ones, right? So <laughs> they have spores kind of floating around them. Did I try and eat one? No. I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> but I mean, if you want to in the name of science, then... I... Well, I mean... That would be you taking advantage that I can heal poisons. Not wrong. Not wrong. We're not close enough to touch them, right? No, not from here. Um, as you get into this, the cavern, um, I would say you get up to the, the entrance point. 
there is like a small one not in the entrance but like just past the entrance off to the right a little bit uh there's a somewhat larger cluster um a bit straight ahead and to the left there's uh, another small one further into the back of the cavern because these are glowing a little bit uh, and then you mm -hmm. can't quite make it out from this angle but the there is a dull purple glow off to the right around kind of like a, a bend mm -hmm. Do we risk it with the plants or not? This could be good for my knee. Um, I know I can heal poisons. I could try. I'm trying, like, I have the gloves. <laughs> <laughs> the gloves of power. Yes, you can have the gloves. Yeah, this time you guys stay here. I'll go look at the, the plant. But if you get can I poisoned, then how yeah, you gonna heal you yourself? Were the... yeah. I can lay on hands myself. Yeah, but what if you hallucinate? What if you? Yeah. Uh, one of you could come with I me. Mean, just slap me if I. Want to give me the gloves up? I don't know. For science? Are you good with plants? For science? No. <laughs> I know them a little. None of us are trained in nature. No. Nope. I have a little bit of nature. Like, I grew up in a forest. Um, do we have more than one pair? No. Mm. I don't think so, at least. Sorry, first come, first serve. But you can come with me. Okay. I'll, uh... I guess I I don't really know what I can do to help, but I'll come with you. Inspect it. Uh, can I detect poison and disease on the plant? I assume detect magic wouldn't really work or do anything helpful here, right? Alex? You have no idea. Mm -mm. Um, as far as detect poison and disease, I believe that's a thirty foot radius, right? Yeah. Uh, you can sense the presence and location of poison. Okay. Um. Yes, that would technically work. Yay! Uh, I guess you could arguably see... Not see, you can sense the, the presence and location. So you could actually sense the... the, the range of this, uh, or the area that it's affecting. Mm -hmm. um, at least for the one that's right next to you near the entrance. Uh... It's kind of affecting an area about 10-ish feet around it. Can I identify the poison? Like what it does? Uh, you identify the kind of poison, I guess. Um... Maybe the name of it. Maybe Sparksy will know. I mean, with all, sorry. Uh, this would have more of a, a soporific effect. Like sleepy? Yep. Oh, they're sleepy planes. But only 10 feet around them. Wait, so I could guide everybody through it, right? Just around the edges of where it'll, it'll be effective. Yeah. And wait, I'm immune to poison. I could collect these, couldn't I? Are you immune to poison? I'm not, sorry, I'm immune to disease. I'm not immune to poison. 
It's close. The nosy door. Okay, I keep getting those mixed up. Um, double check. Now it's just disease, and I guess this is not a disease. I turn back and I'm like, uh, the plants will make you fall asleep if you get too close to them. But they're they're far enough apart. I could like move around. Get to the other side. Or to the perfect one. Suppose we could attempt to make our way through. Yeah, but if you do, you got to follow single file and only step where I step. I like the stop, though. But it should be fine. Ooh, so yeah, I have a good idea, Alex. Uh, can I use Minor Illusion to make, like, a faintly glowing set of footprints following where Isla walked? Like, just enough for us to follow exactly? Uh, Minor Illusion is mean, you can make footprints. Yeah, it is a cantrip. Yeah, yeah, you can continuously do that. That's a plan. Everybody line up. Yeah, give it as much birth around the plants as I can. There. Try to get to the, the other side. Holy it's pretty, pretty ish <laughs> huh? um, tradition. I guess oh, slight, slightly better. <laughs> uh, I can visual. Visual. Uh, yeah. Welcome to the wispy plants. Oh, pretty. Okay, don't look don't, at don't this. Go. Ignore the giant compass thing at the bottom that's just kind of where you guys started in the entrance okay you said the, the circles aren't exactly 10 feet though right i mean the squares yeah, yeah so uh technically i have markings on the, the gm layer but i could also um uh, because you can sense the area uh here here's this area Um, but again, keep in mind, it is only 30 feet from you, so. Kind of like as you approach some of the areas, you can see the outline of it. I'd be like, don't, don't go right. So if I get closer to this plant over here, it'll be like. Show up. Uh, yeah, yeah, as you get closer to that one, the, the outline would technically show up. Uh, guys I don't. Just... Technically, Drew, there's only one line, see. so I can't piece it. Whatever, I'll just give it to you. Uh, that's the other outline. Oh, gosh. 
I assume you guys are all following. Yep. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, why don't you keep an eye out for like traps? Or... I remember Dunk was before. They might need to re-roll. Or, or, or like just monsters in general. Yeah, I'll perceive for danger. Only traps. Oh, which is the way out of here? Be funny if you just walked into the purple part. <laughs> like... Well, I can't technically see the purple. That's true. Death areas, right? Yeah, but she no, is burning them up. Following me. I'm gonna say you, you can yeah. see the the plant itself, but uh, yeah. it's glowing. I'm trying to st stray too far from the other's path. Even though the plant is pretty nice looking. Uh, pretty no, 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 no. no. no just fall asleep. In the middle of a dungeon. So pretty. Just stick to the footprint path. Stick Which way are we footprint. going? Now that I'm leaving. Which way is like the street way out? It's like a wall here. This this plant might be blocking our way out. Why don't you go find out? Uh, You're going actually, pretty far in there. I, I was gonna say, I like. Can you back up a bit? You would have sensed this area. Oh gosh, that's a big plant. The perp. The perp. Don't go that way. Okay, my bad. Um, from that perception check, uh, I'd say that the best you can tell is there are. I mean, it's a cavern with oh, some man. plants. There's some rocks mm -hmm. strewn about couple that are as large as, I would say, more like boulders than rocks, but... It's not not a ton in this area, other than the plants, from what you can see. Uh, visibility is kind of... Eh. Uh, the plants, the best they give off is a, a dim light, so like, Quill can't see shit. Um, other than what's around Isla. I guess the rest of you could technically see in this low light. Wow. <laughs> but do I see an exit out of the room? No. Okay. Uh... This is a dead end. I yes, go back the way we came. But everybody turn around. I can try to burn a pathway if we want. Through the plants. But I don't really know where we're again. headed, so Well, there's no exit. If you blow up this big plant over here, we might be able to progress. I'm guessing I, I can't tell if there's an entrance behind the or an exit behind the point. Uh, not really from where you are. If I get like as close as I can, that's as well. I mean, I don't like just destroying them. 
You could always try and harvest them. I fall asleep. Unless I held my breath, but then you'd have to put them... I think we got jars from somebody. Actually, do I know if it's, like, a powder? It has to be. It has such a big event. What if it comes from the leaves? Um, gotta be easy. It's that far away. I can do it, Isla. Um, I guess we could sell it or use it to put people to sleep. We were hoping to get some stuff for Sarah. And, um, Val's getting better at better at making potion stuff. I think worst case. Worst case is I fall asleep, I mean. I mean, can I? Wait. Got big lungs. You attach a, attach a rope Wait, to your... I was going to say that, yeah. Hey, okay. Can it's I like... just drag you back after you fall asleep? No, if, if she falls asleep. If you hold your breath and just gather what you can while holding your breath, you'll be fine. Right? We'll see, I guess. Mm -hmm. You want to look... You can go to the big plane. Maybe that you can see if there's an exit behind you. Wait, wait, I'll wait, wait. Well, just a second ago, you were like, I'm going to do this. I'm going in. Now that we have the plan, it's you I'll are going plan. in? What happened? Oh, I, I can do it. Um, yeah, uh, well, that means we guess we got to tie, tie a rope to you there, Isla. You got the gloves? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. It would be the easiest to pull back, so. That's true. <laughs> all right, I'm going to start tying, tying her ankles. Well, one ankle. <laughs> so, like, really I, I like flip her around. At least what? do it around the waist. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, can I slide a hand? I want to see if I. Yeah, I want to see if I do it too tight. <laughs> you can, you know, tie it around my waist and shoulders and make a little, you know, harness. Please don't drag me back on my face. We'll see. Tie it around her neck. All right. If you uh... fall asleep, try to fall asleep on your back. Right. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Looks fine. Mm. <laughs> well, like, like I'm not trying to break. No, it looks tight. Okay. I take, I take like several very deep breaths and and go towards this plant to collect it. Okay. One that's thirty feet over. Um, away. as you're walking close to it, you do notice the. Your your feet are leaving footprints. It is a more like a powder. Um, okay. Oh, so should I collect the powder or the leaves? Everything. I'm just gonna grab one of the jars. I can't. I can't ask you that. Yeah. So I I go to to get. Yeah, the I would have given you something to put it in at the very least. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. As you go to like kind of pluck some of the leaves, you realize the leaves are kind of coated in a thick layer of the powder. Yeah. I assume I can hold my breath for like 30 seconds easily. Um, so I'll gather as much as I can in that time and then like walk back. What's your constitution awesome. modifier? Uh, pretty good. Three. Okay, so you can hold your breath for four minutes. Yeah. Sorry. Wow. It, it's, it's one plus your constitution on the fire uh, with a minimum oh. of 30 seconds. And I also perceive and try to like look, see if I can see anything behind the plant. Uh, collecting sure. It. It's just a suspicious plant to me. Okay. Uh, you don't see anything behind it. Okay. Yeah. So I'll I'll do it safely. I'll gather what I can in like two minutes, and then come back and be like, "I want to I want to have a look." Wait, I, I put them like tightly in the in the jar so that it's completely sealed. Yeah, all good. I'm gonna Leaves. I'm gonna grab the jar and I'm gonna call call Val over if she is here. Can you press the digitation clean off any powder that stuck to her? 
Oh no, my feet. There was any. Yeah. Cool. Sleepy feet. feet. I guess, uh, Isla, before you come back, um, I would need a, a sleight of hand for your harvesting. Oh, right. Sorry. Uh, I'm pretty good. Eh. Okay. Um, as you're harvesting them, You were holding your breath. Mm-hmm. Didn't really specify anything about skin contact. Oh, uh, she's wearing the gloves. gloves. Right. Your feet are touching the powder. Oh, no, I don't have... Bare feet, feet. yeah. Feet on. <laughs> That's one thing I've drawn every time. So, bare feet. At, as you're getting in here, and as you go to harvest right. them, um, I need a constitution saving throw. And I can't say anything. Uh, it's just this one. Okay. Yeah, as you Tough get up bird. to the plant, as you get up to the plant to go harvest it, um, your eyes feel a little bit heavy. That's about it. Uh, okay. I only grab like a couple leaves and then I like run back. <laughs> I'm not staying here so long. But maybe only like 30 seconds. Okay. That's not right. I can't really talk. Don't warn him. But yeah, you, you grab a couple leaves and then head back. Um, and then, yeah, Quill can use prestidigitation to at least get the powder off of you. Who's next? Okay, I, I felt sleepy. I don't know why. I, I wasn't breathing it. Were you tasting it? No. That would that would make me fall asleep. And then get dragged. Give me the gloves. But as you, you blow the, the, the dust off my off my feet, I'm like, oh, um, I don't have shoes. I do. All right. They're a chuckle uh, scorn. Original. <laughs> All right. I get the gloves right. on. Um, rope me. Can I tie the rope on her? I can take it off. Sure. It's a sleight of hand. Yeah. You take the, the rope off of you and you realize it wasn't even really tied on. <laughs> you go to undo the knot and it just kind of slips and you're like oh uh, uh jaffle yeah did did you give it what you tied this yeah um you might want to like you know double bow it next time why uh i i, I just kind of pulled on it and it came off Maybe, maybe you lost a lot of weight. Since you tied it on me? Yes. <gasps> oh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tie it on you. All right, I lift my arms. Mm -hmm. That's, okay. That yeah, is you, scary. <laughs> the, the rope under. Yeah. I might tie it a little too tight. Just to make sure it stays. Will will actually double check the knot this time. <laughs> okay. Um. Guess arguably, give me a. I guess a straight intelligence. Me. 
Yeah. You know the monkey knot? Uh, is this the right thing to do? Yes. This time. <laughs> Boy does it. Uh, do you, I'm guessing you know. and realizes no. he doesn't know how to tie knots. The monkey knot. 69. <laughs> Yeah, so it looks tied. Sounds good. Good, good, good job. All right, Jaffel's got, just so you know what she's wearing, she's got her usual dress, her boots, and the cloak, and the gloves as well, and a jar, and a backpack. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. And a shield as well. Not the whole deal, but yeah, that, that's the, I'm just going to go in, out of coverage a ways. That's what she has. So... Um, yeah, she'll go in. To the flower. Pop. Okay, right, give me a slight of hand. Oh, yeah. I try to channel Laval and her sneaky ways. And she's gonna think about all the time she did so good in pinning, <clears throat> uh, pinning the pins on everybody. Now, delicate oh. she is as a person. I was gonna say, okay. don't you get, remember you that. Get a, you get a couple leaves, and then, really without thinking about it, you kind of like wipe your forehead off a little. <laughs> I totally <laughs> would too. I a hundred percent would. Uh, make so make a Constitution saving throw. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> that's so accurate. <laughs> Like anytime I'm baking, bro, you know how you like do the wets and the and the dries with two different hands. I fuck yeah. that yeah, I fuck that shit up instantly. Uh, it's constipation. You know, like yep. Eh, that's not too bad. Or if I'm painting, I'll end up just painting on my mm -hmm. face by accident. Just you know, it's just not good. Oh yeah, no. Okay. Yeah, you, you wipe your forehead off and your eyes feel just feel a little bit heavy, but you're fine. Oh, good. Um, can I try again? I mean, you can continue harvesting. From that same check? Yep. Yeah, she will. Wait, can you hold your breath for four minutes, too? I uh, I haven't been holding my breath. <laughs> um, okay, so you continue harvesting. Yep. Uh, make another constitution saving throw. Yep. Why does it keep going away? What? Okay. Oh. So your eyes feel kind of heavy. You're like, fine. Continue harvesting. Um, I'd say you probably get, as you kind of push through some of it, you get between what Isla got and you, maybe a dozen leaves or so. Mm -hmm. Um, and like I said, the the leaves are caked in a thick layer of the powder. Um, so you get some powder in there as well. And you feel really tired. That's to you. Uh, how long has it been? You, know, you, do, uh, you do a casual yawn. Mm -hmm. And then you're face down on the ground. Okay. Oh. Jaffle? Um, Is she still holding the uh -oh. jar? Uh, I'm going to roll an odds check. Uh, no, how far is away is she right now? Jar's on the ground. <laughs> Dang it. My how, well, uh, how far away is she from us? Uh, from you, 65 feet. If you got a little bit I, closer, you'd still be fine, and then you'd it'd be within 60. It's like oh, the best you can help. do. Got roped, though. Let's get her back, and then we can try to get the jar. Oh, wait, you don't have shoes either. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shoeless. Oh, I can go. Ayo. That's true. Well, yeah, if I can get to drag within... Jaffel. 
But yeah, let's let's do that. Yeah. That was maybe not okay. like breathe in more of it. Somebody She's, make an athletic check. Uh Jaffel's just like straight up snoring boring. Who's pulling Jaffel? Uh, I, I was dog. holding I the rope. Jaffel. I mm-hmm. handed it to you, dog. <laughs> I've got fifty feet of rope, yeah. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, without issue, you just start pulling on the rope. Uh, Jaffel's just sliding along with the powder. Um, <laughs> Face first, first in the powder. The mm-hmm. small pile of powder is like clumped oh, no. to her as she's being dragged. Yeah, oh, hey. Uh, That's the way to harvest. It's like fishing. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you get her, <laughs> I, I would say probably about there. Um, I, I would say, Donk, you do have to move over there to start pulling the rope. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Careful. I'm still asleep, so I can't do anything. Mm, okay, so I go. Well, fully take a deep a breath. Oh, oh, yeah, maybe. No. No, you don't. What? Wait, what? No, sorry. Mm. I... What? Jaffle is gathering a lot of dust on the way here. You know, like, I cannot... if we keep pulling her. You're gonna throw me back and pull me again. Me to... <laughs> We're so fucked. I mean, I'll just drag <laughs> her out, but. But then if we I touch might all take the all the. Yeah, I might take all the powder with her. You'd have to take the, the gloves off of me. I might. I should be able to clean it up. Alex? Very good. Are you able to keep Is it, that or do you too just? Far for yeah. Uh, prestidigitation would get rid of it. Right. So I can get rid to... of it. But... Yeah. Wouldn't be able to collect it, but mm. not, not really an issue anymore. I think nobody has like a shovel. I just shovel my face. <laughs> oh, no. like shovel the little pile up out and away from Jaffel. Although I'd probably have like dirt in it. Beggars can't be choosers, you know. Dirt in your dust. I have a, I have a sword. I don't think it would help. I have a pan. And probably like a spoon. I mean, Val's gonna be going in. Okay, okay, this is not just because she's dead, but like, we'll probably be fine with how much we can get shortly. So. If. As long I as can she's get asleep. if I can get within thirty feet of the jar, I can pick it up with mage hand. Thirty feet. If that helps, but yeah, but we can send Mival to pick it up with her non mage hand. That's true, and then that she can too? she can slide a hand his ass. That sound. Okay. Anyway, I just need I mean, need need to be asleep somewhere outside of the zone. I'm sure. Yeah. All right. You can you can you can dust her off then, Quill. Please. Okay. I clean her. Cleanse. Okay. Yeah. And then we we get drag her the rest of the way out or dog sure. does I suppose. You can drag her out. Still asleep. Yeah, she's snoring. She's comfy. Yeah. So she's clean now. Like the powder's gone. Yeah, all the powder's off. Yeah, but I still got slipped. So. I don't know. Shake her shoulder. Does she wake up? No idea. Yeah. Splash a little water on her face. Wait, wait. Let me shake her shoulder. Me, 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 me. She's she's asleep. (laughs) (laughs) Do I have to be in her face? Do you guys want to collect more of these? We want to keep going. It's it's gonna be bad. She could nap. I'll just like drag her away from the powder zone. Okay. Uh, where where you, you're dragging her like right there? Yeah, I'll just drag her like right there. Okay. I feel like he could have probably picked um, me up by that point, but that's all right. Nah. 
I mean, you're, you're dragging her like on her back, not her face, right? Um... Well, no, by her ankle, though. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh oh. Here's a, here's an awkward note. Uh, as you get there. Oh. Oh God! Here we go. Um. Something rapidly forms out of the ground. Oh. And uh, attacks you, Donk. Right. Wait. Interception. Uh, I... uh, it's a mouse. Stop. Start stomping my feet. <laughs> no. Probably, probably stepping on my hair. I'm right there, man. No. This is a medium attack. Okay. Here's our other one. No, that's not the right thing. Oops. I assume I would have kept my sword and shield out. The wrong one stopped. Although I would have put it away to gather stuff. Probably. Oh, that's why I was using this one. Okay. This is the sheet I want, not that one. I don't want no, the easier actually... one, I want the harder one. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this like the gem eater thing that burrows to the ground? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, God. It's I not read at the all monster that man. I read the monster manual one time. And I, was, I remember that one for some reason because I'm like, that sounds terrifying. It's not at all that thing. I don't Eek. know what you're talking about. <laughs> I was right. What? Oh, it's ugly. That's not nice. Fuck oh, me. Salted. That was so <laughs> <That's DM me. laughs> I don't like it. Um, uh, oh, it's ugly. <laughs> it's trying to eat you. <laughs> yeah, it's just funny. Nah, he's trying to eat Donk. I'm all right. I'm sleeping. I <laughs> need to wake up. I've been eaten by a worm. I'm, I'm, I'm used to all this. It was okay. I was randomly like, I did read the entire monster manual at one point because I liked the art a lot, and I, I didn't look at stats or anything. I wouldn't have remembered it anyway. But uh, I was hey, thinking I of it literally that. earlier today. Do me a favor while I roll these surprise attacks against Donk. Uh, yeah. Everyone, everyone, <laughs> roll initiative. Don't forget to click your token. Oh okay, my turn. <laughs> Eventually. I just didn't expect it to be more. My, do I get, I always forget, does it automatically do it for initiative, the double? Do it I does, do? yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, I see, uh, oh, I see I, it on there. I do have to double check if the sleeping the condition five. for the... Oh, true. Yeah, if, it, it, it would probably, change. yeah, it would make sense to me if it was the, like, because I wouldn't really be able to know. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? So, yeah, if it's at either a disadvantage or, say, the lowest, uh, that'd make a lot of sense to me, actually. Uh, you would technically be unconscious. Yeah, I'm sleeping. No. Technically, it doesn't say anything about affecting initiative. Excellent. Um, yeah, you just can't really do anything on your turn until you're awake. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, that's not good. Uh, probably does make sense also. Wait, when I got put to sleep, did that mean pass without a trace blocked off? Uh, yes, technically. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Who's the best? Okay. So going? for the the surprise attack, surprise attack against Donk, real quick. Mm -hmm. Um, I've got, I think only one claw attack hitting. Uh, okay, well, before you say that, since I was dragging Jaffel around, I probably that, have my stuff equipped, at least not right. my shield. Aww. 
So I think we said it was 19 armor. Yeah, it's my armor class. Four off of whatever you're currently at. Yeah. Okay. Um, Continue. That would mean the bite also hits. Ow. So you're taking one claw and one bite. Technically, there are, just because I can state this, there are four total attacks, three claws, and one bite. Uh, two of the claws okay. miss, one hits, and then one bite. Okay. Uh, the claw will do seven points of damage to you. Okay. Uh, and then the bite will do 25. I'm going to stone endurance the bite. Sure. Fuck. Thank you. And seven. One nine. Minus three. Oh my. Not math. Oh wait, I can cheat. Yep. That's what I see. Sixty-nine. Nice. Nice. Oh, did we establish if we had uh the like extra hit points? We did. Yes. Yeah, we have three. We have three. As long as you ate, I would... had three. <sighs> I can't seem to edit that through the app. Um, I think I have it on your character sheet for temporary hit points. Uh, if you do, I, I can't see it. I don't know where but it was. As long as you app, but well, it, under I see it says okay. Now I see it because a second ago it said ten. I just saw you change it, so I can okay. see it. I just can't. I can't do anything with that. I can't. Edit you can't it. change that, but you can affect your health, right? No. My main health, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to uh, just make your main health 39 instead. Didn't I take two points Oh, you earlier? did. So, yeah, 37. So, yep. All right. That way we just account for that, even though technically it's temporary and not uh, yep. actually going. Whatever. Close enough. Oh, wait. Thank you. Um, I got to check the initiative for this thing. Who's who's initiative and I'm missing? Probably Naval. No, I don't I have Quill's initiative for some reason. Oh, I thought I rolled a seven. You so rolled it roll but again. It, it not. It just didn't probably, add it to the turn order. Probably. Oh. Couldn't click on his icon. Well, I can't. So yeah, that's probably why. No, yeah. but sometimes if you roll it through the app, it still automatically adds it. Hmm. Um, I have to roll fucking initiative for Vasca. Oh, right, he's here. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, we should wake Jaffel up. Yeah. I'm trying. I was about to pour I'm water on the face. I'm a No. <laughs> oh, why is Stop. that saying? No, it's happening. I go before <laughs> you, so suck it. <laughs> so, I beg you to reconsider. No. It's just gonna um... get eaten again. Now she doesn't know she's sleeping. Yeah, that or let the big beast take yeah. free shots at her. Yeah. Okay, so Vasca got a pen. Sorry, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> do not. That should be everyone. Let me slap it to descending. That goes to the top. <clears throat> um yes that's everything all right uh after the initial surprise there donk you're up all right i have a question if i My take name. okay if i take jaffle and throw her 
Does this guy Brother. still get an attack of opportunity? On me? Wait, no, wait. I'm Jaffle. Where are you throwing no. her to? No, okay. because it's forced movement. Hey, all. Okay. Well, I'm going to take Jaffle. In oh, most God. instances, forced movement isn't actually an attack of opportunity. Okay, great to know. Yeah, I'm going to take Jaffle. <laughs> I'm going to throw her towards <laughs> Mival and Bethany. Okay. As far oh. as I can. Give me an athletics check. Okay. I am pretty big, but not as big as you. I'm just okay, not 16. rolling good today. That's not oh, that bad. Like little... that's doable. I don't know. Nine. I don't. I don't know if you can throw me that far, but does he have a high strength? Also, I count as a large monster or something. There's something in my large thing. being or some. Oh yeah, when you're you pushing, big. lifting, or you count Smart. as one size larger. Uh, Push, drag, or lift. Yeah, this isn't really. How, I want to. I want to know how you throw. I guess me. lifting. But... Because you are well, lifting her and then chucking her, so I, w I would still say it works. Well, I hear this thing, so I assume I was grabbing her by her ankle and dragging her around, so I'd probably do like the Bowser, the Mario Bowser, you, oh, you, just you, on fucking the shot chucker. put, and just, yep, you know, chuck her. Um, <laughs> no, my bone. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'd say between that and the the size bonus thing you get, she gets Probably good, like twenty feet. So yeah, she'd be right next to me. Fall. <laughs> Perfect. Sorry, Javel. Um, that is my action, correct? How do I land? Can yeah. I? Can I try and? Can I try and catch her? her if I... Oh God. <laughs> um, I don't think it's close enough. Can Vasca help? I would say it would use your reaction. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, I need an athletics check, man. Also, if in this kind of if in this case, oh, there it is, he came through. Um, if the rolls are annoying for you, um, and you want to like give me permission to like throw your things, I can do it that way as well. Anyway, uh, it was eleven, so Woo. I don't know what that means. Actually, I need a second one because you're exhaustion. Uh oh, Woo. deception! Oh, <laughs> no, I was deceived. Honestly, me too. I was like, oh, that's that's pretty right. good. There we go. Still an eleven. Um. Yeah, I would say because she's not necessarily falling that much, so it, you you're you're able to at least, while not catch her gracefully, uh, stop her from, you know, hitting her head on the ground or anything. <laughs> she she won't take damage. No concussions. Woo! Yeah. Thank you. Well, that also means she's presumably still asleep. Yeah. <laughs> not my problem at the moment. Yeah, so I, uh, you were asking if that Good was an point. action, right? And it was, I think. Yes, yes, it was his action. And I know I've asked this every session at this point, but taking out my shield would be a, a bonus action. Perfect. I'm going to take out my shield, the bonus action. Yeah. And I'm going to look this beautiful monstrosity in the eye. Mouth. Yeah. Like, Face. hey, Buddy, that it looks like it kind of hurt. <laughs> and end my turn. Kind of looks like an eye. Actually, no, that is. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, it's an eye. eye. <laughs> yeah, the mouth's on the top of the top of his head, but the other one's an eye. Yeah. I don't like it. How big is this thing? Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I it just saw the chart. So prob probably like twelve feet large. <laughs> That's fucking yeah. funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wait a minute, I need to add the little sweat mark. closer to 14, because I think the smaller ones are more like 8. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> like, Wait a minute. Oh, it's given like, right. like Ren and Stimpy fucking. Um, <laughs> like, Wait a minute. Either way, what does that look at? I'm sorry, I wish there was a way to post images that. in the Roll20 chat so that we could. Oh, yeah, so you're, that's it for Donk? Hmm. Yes. But in Discord, gotcha. I could. I yeah. I'm just curious if this. Um, will... my sword's been glowing this whole time, right? Yeah. I, I I turned it on earlier. Yeah. So I I smack him with my sword. Go for as hard it. As I can. Ah. Uh, that'll hit. 
You and I should. stab him. And then I smite him. Go for it. Very nice. Okay, another nod on smite. And then I can hit him again, right? Yep. I need to hit him again. Tell him he's really uh, rude. That'll miss. Oh my, what is this uh, thing? It It is still technically an earth elemental, so you are just swinging at either rough hide or stone, essentially. Um... Hmm. Open. Catched off guard. But, uh. Uh. What's bonus? I don't. Think there's anything. St Dong still counts as being next to me, yeah? Yes. Okay. Uh, no, don't, don't, go, don't go too far. Then that's it for me. Kind of busy at the moment. Okay. Um, okay. As this is all happening, uh, one of the stones in the, the back of this cavern starts to move. Oh, that's uh -oh. what we need. Um, as this thing appears. Oh. What, what is it? I can yeah. see, please. It looks like a rock guy. A wise old rock guy. That's it is a essentially a still kind of larger because it is a medium creature. So I would say probably about four foot tall. Uh, honestly, it looks kind of like Gollum from Pokemon. Okay. It's just gotcha. instead of instead of the head being on the front of the boulder, it's on the top of the boulder. Gotcha. Yeah. But so more other like than that, it's kind of... yeah, yeah, it's pretty accurate. Um, but this one will appear, and then as there is a glow from its chest, uh, uh oh, there we go. It's a rock. Two more will appear. Oh, as uh, okay. two two other boulders start to glow. Some of the rocks around it gather and create two more of it. Uh, are my are Quill's illusory footsteps still on the ground? Uh, still... <laughs> no, those would have faded. Rick, I hope you guys. They were, were yeah, they were kind walking. of actively like. Oh, oh my god! Just as we were walking in the moment. Mm hmm. Um, I mean, you guys kind of know where the plants are. No, they would still act on this. So these two are up. He would still be able to move. They move how fast? 30 feet. So he would get actually right there. Um, well, hello. And then, technically, the closest target. Uh oh. Um. Uh, now we're th in some this shit. One, this one rolls up immediately to Vasca. Uh, no fuck. The one uh, next to you, Isla, will take a swing at you. Okay. I don't, I don't think a fifteen hits. Nope. Uh, the one that rolled up to Vasca will uh, swing at him. A 21 does hit him. That's, that's awful. Um, How many creatures are we? Currently fighting technically four. The, the one larger thing and then three animated boulder looking shits. Gotcha. Um... This one, yeah, this one will hit Vasca, and then it'll use its rolling charge ability because it rolled more than 20 feet. So it'll do extra damage. Uh, he's going to take 21 points of damage. <clears throat> um, and he has to make a strength saving throw. Not getting knocked prone. 
He's fine. Oh my gosh. He's drunk. Wait, he has a 20 strength? No, he uh, he is proficient in strength saving throws. Oh, gotcha. So, no, he only has like a 12 strength. It's shit. I gotta say, uh, holy. Also, that's not counting the penalties I have against him, but I think it still makes the saving throw. Okay. Uh, question. Would it be a pain for someone, presumably other than Alex, since he has the, the DM shit, to uh, stream their stream so that I might see the map. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If possible. Right, I keep forgetting your tablet's being dumb and we don't look at it. I... My tablet doesn't no longer works, so... Uh, bear with Does me. It, not? Uh... it doesn't connect I mean, I, I do it it too. I don't know why. Uh... Okay, one second. <clears throat> Share screen. Thank you. No worries. I know it's still a bit small because I'm like drawing as well, but it's better yeah. than nothing. Yeah. Um, that is it for them. Right, because Vasca doesn't have any kind of reaction to that. Can he do anything fancy? No, I don't think he technically can until later. Y'all gave Vasca a dagger, right? Yeah. What is it? A dagger or was it a short sword? And a harp. I think it might have been a short sword. Was it? Did he get a sword? I think when he went to Winaylands, it was. What was a short sword, yeah. <laughs> Armor and Did a short sword. Did Isla give okay. him a dagger or no? No, she hoards her daggers. I would have. Ob I would. I will give each of you a dagger if you need one. We gotta do that before we're fighting all the earth elementals. Do you need a dagger? No. Oh, I need to not die. Again. I don't think the dagger would help. Vasca has the short sword. Okay, yeah. Okay. It's the normal one. Short sword. Where'd it go? There it is. It is finesse good. Okay. He can use dexterity. Would still just be a basic short sword, so it's a D6. Or get more. More. And that's all I really need for now. Okay, those are done. It's now the larger thing's turn. Um, Yay. Would it? Is this thing's intelligence. No, it would be aware enough to do that. Um, I'd say it had trouble trying to claw at Donk, so it's going to swap to Isla. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So three stri claw strikes against you, Isla. Why can't you bite so much? Um. And your armor class is what? 18. Okay, so That's two claws beef. and a bite hit. Oh. Just most of them, I see. Can't do anything for myself. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Shield Master, can I... No, I forgot. I I'm not going to be able to shove that, though. Never mind. Between all three hits, you take 48 points of damage. Um, I I do not like this. Forty eight. Yep. 
Hopefully you have those uh, three temporary, huh? Uh-huh. 45. Yeah. I'm not. I don't feel it's, so. It's the bite that really hurts. I mean, you can you can see the mouth yeah. on that thing. I... And the bad mouth, too, though. Maim and dismember you. I could you've fix already, it. You've already found out what it can do. I could fix it. It, it can rip nearly, uh, Isla nearly in half. That, that's like, what, what I mean... <laughs> Yeah, that's but impressive. imagine if it didn't have any teeth on that thing. Oh. I was a yeah, chicken. Like blood, blood. Yeah, don't, don't you think that's a wee it bit too wide? It's huge. It's huge. I could swallow you whole. Oh. Uh, oh no. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Why, that's stop. not a good thing. Stop. Um, They're giving him ammunition. Yeah, it's, not not gonna, it's not going to move, though. Uh, so... Uh, I think technically it's a fastest turn because Jaffa would be slower. Um, so he would go before Jaffa. Uh, he really only has the short sword because this thing's in his face. Uh, the plants were purple, by the way, right? Yes. Okay, cool. And glowy? Yep. Thank you. Sorry, I'm drawing it now, so... Uh, he's gonna... Bonus action planar warrior. So, whatever he hits with the next attack will just be force damage. And that he can do when he makes an attack. So he's going to do a blade flourish and probably make it a defensive flourish. So that seems like a good idea. So he's going to take a swing with the short sword. Sure. Wow. What a G. Fuck me, that means all the force damage is doubled, too. Yay. You switch from DM God to Vasga. Oh, no. Oh, right. Well, I gotta go back My and immersion. forth between him and the... Uh, My man. immersion! <laughs> um... I gotta roll a bunch of dice, then. It's not 2d6 for that. Uh, plus 2d8 for that. And then the blade flourish. He's doing the defensive one. Uh, he rolls a bardic die, which is a d6. Technically doubled. No, because this is added on technically after the effect. It's weird. The wording's weird. Whatever. I don't know. So that would actually be another D6. So I'll just do that. And then plus five. Plus five. Plus five. Why? Wow, that's... Oh, that's a cool. like amazing rolls. Why? Yeah, this is amazing. Told but you. He's protecting it all. See, this is why we took okay. him with us. Correct. So he does thirty-five points of force damage to the thing next to him. As this happens, Mival just like looks at him like, "Oh boy, okay, <laughs> he's hot." Yeah, oh yo. she's got the uh, ha, ha, a wooga. No. <laughs> no <don't. laughs> uh, he 
can take a second swing, although it won't really do shit compared to the first one. Because he doesn't get any of the bonus stuff. It doesn't even hit anyway, so the second swing's not worth it. He's tired. Um, I'm going to add some pink in here. He'll stay there. Jaffle. Uh, yes? You're, you're asleep. That, that throw didn't wake her up? Oh, well, I got somewhat caught, kind of. I... Uh, can I attempt to wake up, or am I just fucked? Oh, you should try to dream. Oh, I should! <laughs> Let me insight! <laughs> you know what? Fuck it, go for Fuck it. Fuck yeah, psychedelics! Wake <laughs> right, in your true form. Insight, 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 insight. I just, like, wake up. <laughs> oh. No, okay. Oh, man. It would have been funny. It would have been funny because I would have woke you. Oh, gosh. Oh, well. I still have a couple rounds. But yeah, there's nothing else I can do. I'm going to be asleep. Wait a minute. I probably could have cured you of poison. Yeah. You would I think. just realized that. That's okay. I, I don't know what's wrong with I me. mean, everything I happened I pretty matter. close not at once, to be It's not a powder from a plant that poisons you to put you to sleep. The different. The last one was different. Uh, it's, uh, it's okay. all, you're up. Um, literally my job. It's an action to wake her up, right? Uh, I I'm gonna be real with you. It won't work. Oh, I like snorted like co cocaine levels of sleep dust. Like, I think I think I'm out of it. I appreciate it. If, it. if it was if it was the sleep spell, then yes. Oh, um, just don't back to me. My my only thing for you guys is don't die because I'm asleep and I can't revive you. So, guess <laughs> what? I can revive you now. Ayo. Just I am not feeling so hot though, Jeff. Please. Oh, okay. bonus action, yeah. Eldritch Ma. Sure. Um. I'm gonna take a swipe at that thing. The one right, like, right next to you. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, actually, I'll do it with my my rapier. I think, right? Because that still. Or is it not? I. It's any don't... melee. Isn't it? Don't remember if I don't know if the rapier would get the range bonus. Um. I'm looking. Eldritch Claw tattoo. Um. Yeah, with a weapon or unarmed strike. Okay. Um. Yeah, rapier. Go for it. Yeah, that'll hit. Give me damage, oh. make attack, an extra d6. Oh. Right. One second. Um, if you can give me permissions, I can do it for her. Kind of. Maybe. She's trying to think um, of how, much, how, how many d6s that's going to be. Hold on. I might have it. Okay, so it's that. Uh, how many d6s? Um, five for your level. It's an extra d6 because of the claw. Uh, oh my six. god, this fucking shit. Yeah, six, six. d6 and an, a d8 for your rapier. One moment, sorry. It's okay. You're fine. I got it working on, like, the website for my tablet, and it's actually big enough to do stuff with. Oh, sick. So there's that, and then 66? Yes. Okay. Um, they don't have... This is magical, so that doesn't matter. 
Yeah, 27 points of damage to this thing. Anything else for me, Vol? No. All right. Quill, you're up. So the big guy and the golem guy next to Donk, are they within 120 feet of me? They're within like 15 feet of you. Okay. Uh, am I able to get the two of them in a 30-foot sphere of things without also hitting Donk and Isla? Probably. I want to try to hypnotic pattern them. Okay. So they need to make wisdom saves. Uh, it's what a charm effect. Mm hmm. Uh, incapacitated and has a speed of zero. Yep, they have no condition immunity. Not so. What is it? Wisdom save. You said. Yep. Okay. Will a nine work? I I don't know. What about a five? Those don't sound like things that are working. Mm. Uh, I would assume probably not. Yeah, so they're they're staring at a series of pretty patterns. Ooh, no. Ooh pretty. Is it both charmed and incapacitated or just the incapacitated condition? While charmed by this spell, the creature is incapacitated and has a speed of zero. Gotcha. Is what it says. Uh, the creature becomes charmed for the duration. Conditions. Just want to make sure I read incapacitated right. Uh, no actions or reactions. Speed zero. Charmed. Wow. Yeah, they can't do shit now while this is active. It is concentration, though, so... It is concentration, and I think attacking them breaks it out. Attacking them, or if you... If they take damage, or if someone, like, wakes them up intentionally. Uh, but yeah, so... There's just a series of pretty colors right behind them, and they slowly turn, and then just stare off into space. Will gives Donk a thumbs up. Donk is also staring off into space. <laughs> Wasn't even well, close enough to get affected by it, but... He's just thinking, you yeah. know? We're in a beautiful place, okay? This is not like a cave I've been in before. Also, if these weren't here, it actually would be kind of just like a dull purple glow. And everything looks wispy. Mm-hmm. About it. Uh, anything else for Quill? Um, I think that's all I can really do currently. I mean, you could move. I'm good. I don't want to move and accidentally step in sleep powder, so... That's fair. Oh, wait, am I the only one who can see where, like, the edges are? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. Technically, technically, Isla, I need a concentration check. Because that, oh. that spell is concentration. And he got smacked. So, constitution saving throw. And I think you have to be... What did you take, like 40 something damage? No, that wouldn't work. So the spells act uh, lost. Oh. So, no, you can't even see it anymore. Oh, there, there, just wait. Concentration is working. What? You're breaking up. Uh, things back on. So I'm getting tired. Concent er, concentration isn't, isn't a thing I can roll for directly. No, it's just a constitution save throw. Yeah. Hmm. 
All right, so that's it for Quill. Uh, <clears throat> Donk, you're up. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. So. I'm going to move. Right here. Okay. And I'm going to be like. Isla. Go huh? wake up, Jaffel. And I'm going to pick her up and I'm going to throw her at Jaffel. <laughs> make, make an athletics check. Okay. I look carefully. This is amazing. Up. Man. Okay. Uh, not as, as amazing as throwing Jaffel, but also she's lighter, so it still works. Yes. Um, Isla, make a. Well, you know, you have a flight speed, who cares? Oh, yeah. You, you land just fine. I do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Anything? Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, so that was... Action. Action, okay. Yep. So I'm going to action surge. Go for it. And I'm going to swing twice at Feller over here. Okay. Uh, that'll miss. Okay. That'll just barely hit. Yes. Okay. And that's a three. So that's... That's it. And I would... Pridefully, even though I didn't really do anything really that cool. I'm going to look back at Quill and give him a, a slight thumbs up. Good stuff. And then my turn. All right. Isla, you're up. Um, I mean, uh, I can't... I'm also not right here. You know, yeah, I, I spend five points to cure her sleep. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. It, it works. Okay. Yeah, Jeff, you're awake. Uh, uh, you are, you are on the ground next to Isla. No. Uh, and then, as you kind of look over a little bit, there's this big fucking creature with a massive mouth type thing on it, <laughs> um, just awkwardly staring off into the distance, like away from you guys. Oh. And the things are all his actions. Wait a minute. Wait, as I hear her of, of poison, can I give her a ward? Or just use that different version? Lay on hands. Uh, that would be a different version because you're not technically healing her. The, the, the ward's based off of how much healing you do. I give Misty Step somewhere. Jaffel's going to be so confused with what's happening that she thinks she's successfully going into Dreamland for a sec. No, no, Jaffel, it's, it's fine. Uh, Donk needs help. Uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's, it's weird how they've made the giant worm into some strange creature I've never seen before. It's a very angry creature. Oh. I just need to focus on that. We could, don't you if worry. If we could run. Well, maybe we could make them fall asleep. Who has the, the jar of leaves? Do we, do we drop it? Nobody has the jar of leaves. Is it the same jar I gave you to go collect more? Yes. Oh, okay, we don't have a jar of leaves. But it would be kind of funny if I threw it like a grenade and just everybody goes to sleep. Good night. <laughs> no fighting. Can you put a boulder to sleep? I was wondering if they'd be affected. Uh, they don't seem to mind, but if, they're not. If it's old really now. They're not really close to the thing, so... What'd you say? If it's poison. Oh, I see. I think? Right? Yeah, if it's poison, it shouldn't. I can't really do anything else, so I, I am done. Alright. I was going say, realistically, you have no idea if poison would work or not, but... I don't think so, but it would anyway, be really least... funny. These two boulders that are didn't, still active. Didn't we have some do, some, somebody <laughs> actually say that to us? Say again. Uh, most elementals, I think was oh. the wording. 
Ah, okay. Sorry. No, you're right. Worth asking. Oh my god. Ah, um. Uh, stop. These two the... will take a swing. So one's going to take a swing at Vasca. <laughs> um, I had him use the defensive flourish, so that would have been a bonus. Uh, something that makes no. this definitely more than. Yeah, that doesn't hit him. Um, then the other is going to attack. Don't. I don't think a 15 works. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Whoa, that's crazy. All right. Um, that thing's fucking hypnotized. It doesn't say they can make checks every turn either. Damn, that's really annoying. Uh, I guess it's Vasca's turn. And he'll just do the same thing he did last time. Or at least attempt to. Okay, so yeah, bonus action for the Planet Warrior. Uh, short sword swing. <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> Why? You're your that own worst insane, enemy. That's actually man. insane. That's, That's crazy. <laughs> I have to roll like the roll. roll Mask has been dying away. for the last like three weeks. And he's just like, I'm three. about to. God, damn it. <laughs> Absolutely pop off. What did I roll last time for him? <laughs> 35, I think. The 3d6, a 2d8. Oh, yeah. 3d6 plus 2d8 plus 5. Okay, at least this isn't yeah. stupid amounts of damage. Yeah, not terrible. Uh, 18 still painful to this thing. Um, that would have gone to his defensive flourish. So, second attack, see if he hits it. Nope. I think it's the same roll, too. <laughs> it was the same roll, too. What the fuck? hell? Vasca. Vasca. Go, Vasca born. Vasca born. Jeff, well, your turn. Okay, I have to quickly just check. So I've used one conjure animals today, and I've used one wild shape, correct? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, Question. I'm going to read it really quick before I ask. I just really want to do this, so I can't really give you a good reason as to why I'm doing this. Um, Where is it? Where is it? Do I still have it? Please. No way. Did I get rid of it? Fuck. Wait. So I can make Donk big, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna make Donk big. Bigger. Thirty feet. Maybe you can. Okay. Maybe you can throw the big guy. Making him bigger. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You are now concentrating on uh, Donk being this big. Yep. Oh. <laughs> yeah, throw him. He's big! Woo! Um, okay. Um, I can still use... That was an action. I can still use bombs because uh, they're not concentrated. Yep. Correct. I love my bombs. I think my bombs are the MVP of my life, to be honest with you. Um, if I didn't have them, I'd have nothing. A little bit. Um, let me just move this over. Um, who's dying? So you'd have a lot less healing. Huh? 
Uh, if you didn't have the bombs, you'd have a lot oh, less 100%. healing. Oh, hundred percent. It's and the, the bombs with the what's the other one? The uh, bountiful restoration is fucking king. Um, let's see. Wait, isn't ha, 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 didn't Don get hit for like a million points or something? No, that was Isla. Oh, was it? I mean, Dong's taken some damage, so is Vasco. Isla's probably I see, the most hurt. Like, I see Vasco's. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, so... Isla's I gonna get hit, hit with four bombs. So... R... 4d6. So you get 14, and then you get four temporary. So make sure you add the last one. No worries. Um... I think that's all I can really... I mean, I, I haven't really gotten hit. I mean, they could try and hit me for concentration, but I don't think I'm the main target, so I think I'm in a pretty safe spot. So I'm going to leave it there. Okay. Uh, that talks, what, 15 feet at this point? At this point? He big. Yeah. Well, actually, let me Is see. it double? I don't think... Mm, it's, I mean... it's, it's double every proportion. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, God, yeah. So, like, yeah, let me yeah see. I guess it would be 15. You're 15 feet taller, or well, 15 feet tall. Um, uh, Fairly wide. It is eight times your weight, though. Oh, chonky. Because doubling every dimension, yeah, it'd be eight times your weight. The target has advantage on still, uh, strength checks and strength. Uh, saving throws. Target's I'm weapons also to grow to match its new size. While these uh, weapons are enlarged, the target's attacks will deal 1d4 extra damage. Yeah, so every attack he does does an extra d4 of damage. That's the main thing, um, yeah. Alright, move all your up. Um, uh, rapier, and then I'm going to claws. Okay, same guy. Yeah. That'll hit. Give me damage, sneak attack, all that good shit. Or I guess damage and then because of the extra, extra thing. Uh, I think it's another D6. Another D6. Oh, yeah. Like a D6. Like a D6. Da -ba -da -ba -da. Got me feeling so high like a D6. Oh. oh okay. Maybe I shouldn't have said Doesn't matter, this thing's fucking dead. Ayo! Nice. Dead as shit. So what now? He did. The, the rock he one did. you were hitting. It's dead. dead. Oh, so okay. we currently have... One, two, three... Is it three creatures left that we can currently see? Two more yeah. rock guys and one um one big fucker. Can I throw a dagger at the other dude that Donk is uh, focusing on? Oh yeah, the one that isn't um, hypnotized. Go for it. Yes. That'll hit. Cool. All right. I'll have eight points from a dagger throw. Anything else? No. All right, Quill, you're up. Uh, one second. Yeah, let me know if you need me to zoom out or anything else. I'm just trying to focus on the main spot there. Also, according uh... to Doug's bio, he, uh, in his large form, would weigh one and a half tons. <laughs> Big boy. Just have like the. Be like the ground underneath my feet, just right there. Oh my god. Hit you for a little bit. It's not a no pun intended. <laughs> uh, it is concentration. Yeah. I can still maintain that and chuck a fireball at the other one. That's... Yeah. Still like up and fighting, right? Yeah, I would like to do that. Okay, fireball or firebolt? Uh, 
Isn't the damage on Firebolt kind of like negligible or? Uh, the, I think right uh, now, I think it's right now it's one like two d twelve plus one. Oh, that's not what my thing says, but it should go. Oh, up I see. With, yeah, it goes up with your level, so it should be cantrip scaling. Okay, yeah, fuck it. I'll use the Firebolt then. Um, I need to roll that through the combat tag. I think. Yep. Is this correct? Yes. Yeah. Oh. That will hit. Holy shit! Oh, that's big cool. damage. Uh, how, that's how do not damage. We roll damage. It's separately, or did it, do I need to roll damage separately, or did it do it? Uh, yeah, you need to roll damage. Two D ten. I can double check. I believe that's what it said. Uh, D10. Yeah, 2D10. Boy, it's floating. <laughs> it's getting there. It's making me think of that meme where it's like the wizard is attempting to start the process. Okay, 16. Is it? Because it hasn't. Sent it to. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, nah, it was actually like on 35. My... Oh. I went back to the app and it disappeared and it says it's loading again now. Uh... Hmm. Are I force closing the app and reopening it? Yep, doing that currently. Did you want anyone to roll it for you or just wait it? It'll just take me a sec, yeah, easy, assuming it works easy. this time. What is this? Oh. I like the first one better. What was it? Oh. Damn. Solid five points of fire damage. Oh, ye. Really doesn't like the fire. Anything else for cool? Mm. I heard a shout at no, so all right. Don't <laughs> well, in my new enlarged mega state, <laughs> I first admire Kras' work with the hammer. Oh my god, it's even better now! <laughs> and then I swing at this guy. So it's Yikes. A... Uh, oh, that'll miss. miss. That's a that's a yikes. What? That's a double oh, yikes. My lord. Oh boy. Oh, I cry. Okay. Vasco will make up for it. Boy, I hope so. Oops. And yeah, unfortunately, that's. I mean, you're big. That's, that's yeah, something. big now. All right, Isla, you're up. I stare in awe at Big Donk. Big Donk. Uh, his butt's even bigger now. Oh, right, so awesome. uh, right for the touching. I look can't even reach his like path. Can't <laughs> speak to me. Um. V, can you show me the magma? Uh huh. Is is throwing a dagger a bonus action or a normal action? That'd it'd be, be uh, good. it'd be part of your attack. I'll yeah, do a tour. About that. Let me know when you've seen everything. You can take a screenshot. Oh, that's true, actually. That's 25 feet away. Um, I don't want to heal myself before I go back in. I, I, can do that. I posted uh, it in D&D &D for more viewing. Thank I, you. That's okay. No worries. Can I cast Lay on Hands? Uh, not Lay on Hands. Cure Wounds at the higher level? Yeah, yeah, I can do it at level 3. 
And hopefully the big one doesn't hit me again. Although, if we can get this guy down, we could run. Alright, so that gives me 17, I think. I am on the wrong... There we go. And then I will... I can't go through Donk, right? No. You must go stand next to you then. You, you could go between his legs, surely. Yeah, I was about to say she could probably fit between his legs. Like she no, can, she can basically do that be... already. Like no, definitely. Yeah. Lay up onto my shoulder. <laughs> like a parrot. And so now it's at least like she could do it comfortably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not like squeezing through some thighs. Or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If we can this get this one down, gargoyle. we can run away. Sorry? Hmm? This isn't the gargoyle, right? This doesn't have the no. forearms. No. It has, um, it has arms. Hurting. I mean, it has three legs and another three legs. <laughs> oh. That yeah, well, one. That's not a leg. Oh. Yes, it is. Appended. I, I am done. <laughs> A fucking tripod, goddamn! <laughs> so I, I yelled, um, if we can get this one, right hip. No, for her pleasure. One, for her pleasure. No. Ooh. All right. <laughs> this thing. That is gonna... a that is a leg. That's a that's Take what they want swing you to think. At Isla, I guess. I just got here. Hey, a twenty-five to hit. Oh. Yachi. You take thirteen points of damage. I healed myself. Temporary. Hey. And then, boy, this thing's still fucking hypnotized. I, I assume they're not very smart. Nah, and a lot of the elementals play. haven't really been. But if you didn't hear, I yell at Donk if we can kill this one, we can all run away. No, I feel like we're doing pretty good. Vasca's up. We haven't really just woken up. Yeah. You did get hit by the the big guy. Yeah, I wouldn't be aware of it. I think we're doing great. I mean, <laughs> you saw me like half chewed up, but okay. <laughs> you just looked, little, not you just looked like a wet owl. I just thought you might have fallen over. Oh, right. Mm-hmm. Oh, you missed you missed on throwing me too. Yeah, I missed on myself being thrown. Like I, I, I was out of it for a long time. I wonder if your like uh, back hurts. <laughs> surely. Basca's gonna cast Bane. Mm -hmm. uh, so all three of them have to make charisma saving throws. Charisma. How's it look? What's it do? I don't think they are very charismatic. Nope, they're not. I didn't like them. Moment, moment I like them. Considering one of them rolled a total of zero. Nice. No, they're not. They're just shy. Uh, so all three of them are affected by Bane, which is any attacks or saving throws that they make gets a, a negative d4 to it. Nice. Uh, but realistically, that's it for him. So, Jaffley, you're up. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna do... Um... Sorry, brain. Um... Two magic missiles, so I think that equals up to four magic missiles. You know yeah, I mean? two charges, yeah, four shots. Lovely. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna hit the the, the main guy. I've been hitting not the not the people that are distracted. So 
Bam. Bam. Okay. Bam. Right. And bam. All right. 14. Cube, 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 cube. Nothing. Still alive. I mean, it did damage. You are taking chunks off of Boulder. That's good. Um, well, was anyone else that should be heal? Uh, I mean, oh, Hyla's fucking in there, brother. Um, wait, is I can't, I can't actually tell if Donk has taken damage. He's taken damage, though, right? Yes, he has taken damage. Not really much. Um, at least not comparative to his overall health. I'm gonna go with three of my bombs, meaning I have one left, and I'm gonna use Bountiful Restoration. You should have a total of nine. Oh, because of the, yeah, new level. So I have two left. Okay, my bad. Yes. Um, I was still playing off the other one. That's fine. But I still will do that no, same no, thing. No, I was so. just trying to remember if we ever changed that. No, we didn't. <clears throat> um, that's okay. So, yeah, I'll still do the three, actually. Yeah, and no, I'll still do the 3d6. Um, and so I'll put it on mostly Isla, but Bountiful Restoration to carry on to Donk. Okay. Pretty sure that's still how it works. Yeah, so when Korea yep. casting a single, da, 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 they get half of the healing done. Okay. Yeah. So, right. so Isla gets nine with three temporary, Donk, you get four with one temporary. Sweet. All right, yep, I am happy. That's no worries. Oh, that's really helpful. You said that's it? Yep. All right, we've all your up. Um... I'm just gonna... Oh, okay, what did I do? Um... Oh, no. The map is I'm gonna longbow the guy and uh, throw a dagger. Go for it. Yeah, a little bit. I feel like 27 is your lucky number. I feel like I see 27 a bunch for that one. It's funny, because my, my original... Um, uh, number was Vampire Girl 27. No way! Not number, but my original yeah, yeah, I guess name. you. That's funny. Yeah. See, I swear I see 27 for you a lot. Ooh, Radiant. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot you have a new thing going on. That's cool. Alright. I've never, I've never seen it like yeah, yes, split exactly. like that. That's cool. Oh my god. Oh, big. All right, so 25 total. And then dagger. Get dagger. Oh. Well. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Can't win them all. That was pretty good. I'm good. All right. <laughs> Quill. Well, speaking of, uh, really quickly, Sparks, do you like uh, the valve? Mm -hmm. Sorry, what? Never mind. It's all good. I was saying, do you like the Val drawing? <clears throat> but Quill, go ahead. I am going to fire both again. Go for it. On the side, we. Yeah. She ain't. My phone makes it blurry, but it's good. <laughs> Thanks. That'll glance right off. Dang. Uh, just continue maintaining his body pattern, I guess. Sure. Donk, you're up. Yes, another chance. I swing. Oops. Swing! Oh, yeah. Yes. Fuck yeah. Finally. Uh, and then Damn. You an extra 2d4. All right. Wait, two? Yeah, it's an extra D4, but because of the credits doubled. Ah, uh -huh, right, right. Okay. Yeah. That's cute. Uh, cute it's little. 22. Yes, sir. And we go again. Two points of damage. 
Mm. Um, your crusher feet. Oh, whatever. Crusher feet. Hacker rolls against that creature are made with advantage until the next turn, until All my right. next turn. So give me a second swing or a second roll on that swing. Oh right, 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 right. Let me just scroll back. Bing! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Let's go. That'll hit, yeah. Oh. And then plus oh, no. is it oh. plus one d four? Yeah, plus a d four. Right. Thanks. Yes. Hey, it had two health left. Fuck yeah! Oh, no. Perfect. I cannot imagine what Isla's feeling with this fucking ginormous, already oh, ginormous, so... but extra ginormous man. Fucking right. Jesus. Oh. I, I like to think that the because the weapon grows with Donk, uh, the the hammerhead is the size of Isla. Oh my god. Definitely. For sure. In and I guess... What are you, what are you her shield? <laughs> I'll move here. To protect Donk. And end my turn. Isla, you're up. You want to keep fighting? You They're know distracted. it. Roy's on Roy's. He's ready to go. <laughs> yeah. We're not on doing track, too man. bad. Uh, why, like, scooch around on you? If you go wider, wait. I'd be like... Easily get around, Jim. Well, no, not. I'm trying to get to like here. And five. Why are you so afraid of touching my butt? You don't want to get stepped on. Yeah. Move over here. Hey, they're so afraid now. But now I can hit both of them. You know, you're probably fine. I'm gonna hit this one with like Try. That'll hit. Alright. Oh, I'm worried about the big guys, so I'm not gonna have to waste my What? Oh, it's You clean. know what? I'm gonna wise my. We've gotten so many bloody. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you crit, you might as well spy it. Mm hmm. I changed my mind. Um. One thing, baby. I was like, keep in mind if you cast Smite at a higher level, it does extra damage. Oh, I've been clicking this button here. Uh. I'll cast it at a second level. Okay, so it's an extra an extra D eight on that. Um. Also, didn't roll the extra oh my D8 God. from that. Sorry, give me another. That was a D8 there. Take another 4D8. Because there should have been another from your rapier damage, and then the smite gets doubled. So, 30, 43 damage. Yay! Wow. Is it dead? Uh, Unbelievable. No, but it's angry. <laughs> Frick. It was looking at pretty shapes, so you just woke it up. I'm no longer hypnotized. Mm -hmm. I figured, but yeah. if Donk's gonna attack the next chance to get, oh, frick, it's this boulder was turning. At least it's not the big I guy. Was, yeah. Alright, hey, he's gonna try and hit you back. Right, right. Angry! Um, I think, it's 20, I think it's 26 hits. Yeah. Stupid uh, take bird. 10 points of damage. Oh, that's nothing. No, their advantage is uh, if they roll at you, they do a ton of damage. That's about uh, it. They are a rock. And boy, did they not really have space to roll. Um... That's it for him. The other thing's hypnotized, so it's Vasca's turn. Um, yeah, he'll just try... Uh, 
Yeah, he'll he'll shoot at it. Um, think Planar Warrior still works. Yes, because it's the next time you hit with a weapon attack in general. So, uh, Planar Warrior fires a longbow. I mean, he still hits, but it's not a crit this time. Uh, a D8 and a D6. No, it's a D8. So... 2d8. I'll just do the longbow damage roll with d8. That and d8. Okay, so he does 17 points of force damage to this thing. And then he'll try and shoot it again. It'll hit, but this will actually only do 4 damage because he's not using a magic weapon. No. Jeff, while you're up. Okay, I want to... I think most of mine are concentrations. I want to keep, I want to keep him big. Also, how long is a minute? I know in fight terms, that's a fair few rounds, but I don't know. Like 10 rounds. Okay, that's fine then. We don't have to worry about that. It's been like three, I think, two. All right, all good. Mm -hmm. Assuming I don't get knocked out of concentration before then. Um, all right, yeah, I'll do another uh, two um, of the magic missiles, but same deal. So it'll be down to three. Yep, and then we'll go four. So. Ow, 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 on this guy. She rolls. Yeah, he's dead. Hey, nice. Wait, did he die before the last one hit? Uh, technically, yes. Yeah, I'm happy but, for it to still go to him. I was just curious when he actually died. Doesn't matter. Uh, the third one would have killed him. Okay, cool. No worries. All right, that is done. Still in concentration. The only thing I can do is a bonus. So I technically do. Does that mean I can technically do like a healing word or something like that? While still in concentration. I think one of those is a bonus. Yeah, yeah, you do healing word. Is that the only one? Because cure wounds is action, yeah. Um, healing spirits bonus, but it's concentration. So yeah, I think it's healing word. Sorry, one second, I'm looking for it. Healing word, where are you? Get me out of here. Yeah, cool. All right, I'll um, healing word Vasca just at... Um, first level, which I think I haven't used any first level spells yet. I hadn't actually reset any of them, so it's just. Exactly. I don't think so. So he gets a little baby bit what? of healing. What word do you use? Um, Pikachu. No. Uh, <laughs> um. <Yep>. Ah. <laughs> Is it a specific word? <laughs> You can make it mm -hmm. word. You shout, I think, a word that's supposed to help heal them. Um, it's also why it's only a D4. It's not great. Nice it's job! Something. I was thinking something I, I, like I, I, I want to do, like, the, the, yeah, the Wii U, like... That's what I thought! Nice <laughs> on! Yeah! Nice cock! Sorry. Nice shot. Anyway. Um, yeah. That... Nice song. <laughs> yeah, I'll do something like that. And give him a little bit of healing. Okay, I'm good. Remember the first time I saw that clip where it was like, nice cock. I'm like, that sounds just like them. What did they do? Because I saw it like a long time ago. You've all you're up. Uh are we going for the big guy? I guess so. Oh, still yeah. breathes. Okay. Um. 
I guess longbow and dagger. Sure. Oh, um. Oh, huge. Wow. Oh, my God. And then, uh, sneak attack. Double sneak attack. Oh, my God. I can't believe the amount of fucking natural 20s we've gotten today. Oh, 12, actually crazy. I had a dirty 20, though. Hey, oh, no. 43. Right, yo. And then dagger. Go for it. Yeah, I'd like. All right, another seven. So a total of fifty damage on your turn. Ah. That's nice. Oh. I'm good. All right, Quill, you're up. The ball casually. Let's blow him up, yeah. Quill. Um, I just, I just um, love the idea of him saying it like in a deeper, like, ooh, slow-mo voice. Blow him up. <laughs> it's, like, I think it's, that is, it's gone now, right? Now, it is. Uh, yeah, no, one, no one's left from it. I'll cheer. You can use another concentration. Um, How much health, of health does this thing have left? Well, no, we wouldn't we don't know. know. We wouldn't know. Does it look fucked up at all? That's a good idea. No. Good question. No. Okay. Um, make a make a medicine um, check. Me? Okay. On a rock. It looks hurt. Hmm. Uh, or a rock, especially after that last attack. Yeah, that was nuts. I'll, I'll give you a, a second fact of um. It's not technically a rock because it's bleeding. It oh. Mm. Maybe it could fall asleep. If we hit it hard enough. While hitting it feels like you're hitting a rock, it, it is bleeding. Is the blood red? You know, I don't know. Taste it, Isla. I bet it looks purple in the light. I'm not going to eat the rock blood, please. Mm -hmm. Actually, no. I could eat like a bunch of stuff to test if it's poisoned. No, I mean, mm. didn't see it's not poison. Never mind. But if I did get poisoned, I could just heal myself. Unless you die from the poison. Yeah, unless it's lethal. And Isla doesn't doesn't like the idea. She's not Mau Mau. What do we got, Quill? Um, hmm. Quick, tell me you also have enlarge reduce and you reduce its size to half. <laughs> oh, oh, I was going to say make Donk bigger. Do yeah, double. <laughs> no, you can't double, double oh, enlarge a person. Cool if you could stack. It, they can only yeah. be affected by one instance. See, the issue I'm running into is one of my highest like damage spells that's you know like economical to actually use is just economical. one of my cantrips but then do it uh i'm going to cast Elemental Bane, I think. Okay. One second. Um, it needs to make a constitution saving throw, or I'm going to have it um, be affected by the fire damage and lose any resistance to fire damage if it had any. Ooh. That's really good. Um, 
Does a 14 work? Wrong. Oh. What is that contesting? Your spell save DC. Uh -huh. But it's in your spell. Uh, that would be a 16. Okay, so then it fails, so it is affected by it. Okay. Good. Um, so it takes... The first time each turn the affected target takes damage of the chosen type. The target takes an extra 2d6 damage of that type. Uh, okay. So every time I it takes fire damage, can... it takes extra fire. Mm hmm And I can't cast another spell, right? I can only do the one. Right. Okay, then uh, I'm done, I guess. You are currently concentrating. Yep. Donk, you're up. I'm going to swing at the big guy. Twice. Nice, sure. dude. Mm. All right, seventeen. And... Points. That's insane. Yeah, okay. And because of the fucking crusher bullshit now. Crusher. Oh my bad. I double clicked by accident. Um, I mean, I, I need it too because it's that advantage. So. Oh. Uh, yeah, the twenty-two will hit. Okay. You also need your D fours. Oh, right, that's right, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, three of them? Yeah, three D4s. Uh, no. That could be worse. Okay. Yeah, that could be worse. Still going. Yeah. That's my turn. Isla, you're up. Ah. It's still going, I guess. I'm going to try and stab it. I think technically everything's an advantage because of Crusher. Wait, I get the double check benefit. Here. I always forget if it's just him or if everyone attacking this thing has advantage. Hmm. It's a creature made with advantage. Attack rolls against the that creature. Army yeah, so with everyone attacking this for this round has advantage. Nice. Yippee. So yeah, g give me a second roll just to see if that one crit, because, you know, why not? Well, I gotta do the damage, right? Well, I, I just want to see if it crits. No, okay. Yeah, give me the damage. Yeesh. Does it seem close to dead? Oh, I can just use a spell. I have a couple left. I'll use a regular smite on it. Bruh. That's some damage. I, I did a damage. <laughs> Um, no, I can't also do that. I'm I'm good. You have another swing. No, oh. You have two swings. Oh, I thought that was like counting as both. Okay, I'm yeah. Ah. And you could swing again. A third time. Well, it's I every think. attack is at advantage, so I need two rolls for it. Oh. So it was. Okay, so yeah, the, set, the second go. attack hits. Okay. That's a little better. Nice and too. And then I'm done. Oh, Does yeah. it seem hurt more? You can make a medicine check. Medicine. It's barely standing. Nice. All right. Uh, Alfred gets its turn. Well. Oh, Alfred. Maybe I should have smote it. Oops. Hopefully he doesn't self-destruct. <laughs> Then it'd be a real golem. Uh, oh, yeah. hit Nyla. <laughs> uh, I think one claw and the bite. Mm hmm. Okay. Hurt. Hmm. 
Uh, a total of thirty-three points of damage. Was there I'm not dead? Yet. Was there any crits? No. Okay. I wish. Should be dead. You just no, wait. Apparently, Vasca gets all the crits. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> you stole Vasca. I think he's pent up. <laughs> or freaking out that Meval's in danger, so. Both? Yeah. Um, hey, it's his turn. I wonder if he gets the kill. Longbow shot. Oh, look at my dad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that'll hit with the planar warrior. So that and a D8. And of course he gets the fucking kill. <laughs> there he is. Yep. And we have all wounds. I gotta give high a high five. I do. Um, Am I okay? Uh, I wasted a level four spell slot. Isla puts up her shield to use as her hand instead of her hand. <laughs> Good call. It is maybe the size of his palm. <laughs> <laughs> Good shield. Mavall hugs uh, Vasca and gives him a quick look over just to make sure he's okay. Love bird. He's good, I guess. <laughs> um, even just the the, I mean, four rounds. So the twenty or so seconds that this took. Um, he's fucking tired from it. That was only twenty seconds, and Isla got hit really hard twice. You did really well, I say to him. Um, I'll probably use my last two bombs. The bomb there's no um no penalty for going to zero, it's only um magic missiles. Right. Cool. So I think I had two left. Um two D six. That's for Isla. Thank you. Uh, I do still have a bunch of lay on hands. So I'm just terrified of something poisoning or hurting us, so I kept it. No, oh, you still not on a lot, are you? Plus, you get um, a uh, member two temporary from that. I haven't uh, added it yet. I'm trying to see. So it's 18. 18. 10? Oh, whoops. I'm rolling. I was looking at Vascaborn again. Okay, 10. Yep. Uh, but two temporary. I might just use uh get up in there. Okay, hello. Mm -hmm. I'll do Yeah, I'll do two cure wounds as well. So you got, I think, 20. Yeah. Nice. I feel better. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, oh. So I, I assume Isla read in a book somewhere. Can I, can I cut open the monster and see if he's got jewels in his belly? The hell is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I read it in a book. They eat jewels. Maybe he'll have diamonds. Do you want me to cut him open? Well, he's still big. Don't... I mean, if, are you still big? <laughs> Not for I'm long, big but... Too. Always. Yeah, yeah, open him up. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if Isla would know that. Aww. Uh, I, I mean, I, I was... In real well, life. I was literally just going to yeah. say that we should harvest what we can, so I still Ooh. think we'd probably cut him open. Mine? <laughs> like, to be honest with you. Or at least... Oh, yeah, would you use you know a pickaxe? That it could be possible. 
Here, how about I only do it if I, I pass a, a check up or something? That. You might have learned that at the tower. He studied elementals a little bit. I was like, Quill would, yeah, Quill would be the only one that would maybe know. Um, but for me, it's just like that. I think we would harvest a big beast anyway. I don't think there's been any beast we've gone over that we haven't harvested in some way. Like that's true. Yeah, like the worm, the this, the that. Like we've always like been like, let's fuck this guy up and see what's in it. So um, we're sick. Yeah, we've got problems. Um, but that's yeah. all right. Uh, <laughs> the twam. Oh, I read this the book like over a year ago probably longer and i i just remember that guy because i'm like mm, meets me right tools. but you read the book <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. not isla but i still yeah. regardless i think there's I enough of an it. argument that it, we would have yeah harvested it but anyway uh yeah uh checks if one of you checks. yeah cool you can make a history check i don't know oh, me I don't know if you would remember much from oh. uh, uh, the Earth Elemental side of things. I feel like, if anything, you would have maybe paid more attention, oh. a little bit more attention to the fire side of things. Yeah. Um, Quill's attention is back to the jar that we lost. All right, don't go Ash. there. You don't have shoes. But no, Jaffa was right. You would, mm. guys have always harvested any large creature you kill. So, so we'll just Dog see, see what's in there. All right, chop them up. <laughs> see, you. see what it tastes like. Dog smash. <laughs> just breaks all the jewels. Got a big old, yeah, pretty much big old swing in his belly. Yep. Or his silly looking eye thing. Take this. Oh, that's We're gonna splatter to everywhere. On my toes. I was gonna say, what are you, what are you carving into him with? Uh, my hammer. My hammer. Sorry, I see the picture. Okay, it's less of a carve. <laughs> it's less of a carve and more of a uh, uh, pinata. Call me a butcher. Give me an athletics check at advantage. Okay. He's gonna break everything. Oh no! Sure am. That's why you hire me. What? You're a friend. We didn't hire you. You oh, work for nice. free. Y'all are getting paid. Um, <laughs> Bring back. You end up essentially cracking and breaking open a ton of his, like, I guess, arguably skin layer. Um, the the height of this thing is still feels like stone. So you're ah. crushing mostly the outside of it. I knew it. Jaff will try and crawl inside of its mouth. I think he's on. Jaff will know <laughs> that that's like willingly getting eaten. I mean, it's dead. How's it gonna eat me? Your fetish. The war. <laughs> Sorry. What? Yeah, I mean, you can go in through the mouth. Yeah, wait, maybe I can be a small animal. Uh, Are you going to be able to see in there? I need to be something that can actually grab things. And that can see in the dark. True. I could I could strap my sword to you. There's also technically the risk of, if you're too small, the risk of suffocating in there. Oh, no. How about we let Donk swing again? Okay, if you want. Sure. I do another in athletics. Go or... for it. Okay. Say goodbye to your gems. Yeah. I mean, it's only a hammer. A big hammer. He's still a big boy. Okay. Um. Yeah. I mean, there's a. A massive crater in which, where the the center point of it was, um, uh, you're you're still just technically bludgeoning it, so 
Mm, do I gotta try and reach inside? If I crack through the shell. I don't know if I want to reach inside this thing. Like, I guess, arguably, there are some innards that are spilling out of the mouth hole now. Uh, yeah. That sounds weird. Yeah, cl climb, climb out here, climb in, Jeff. <laughs> it's dead. It's fine. How about we try and scoop him out? Like an oyster. You We're so ahead. fucked up. <laughs> There's no hope for us. Oh, anyone, a anyone have a This is very shovel? normal. No, I have a... You want... Well, his hammer is pretty big. Could you, like, use it like a shovel? Like a no! Kitchen. I don't know if it has scooping this capacity. for smashing, not for scooping. Wait, well, can you... Wait, is really Donk big good. enough to, like, hold the creature by its legs or something? Just, like, shake it? Uh, I think this thing's twice as big as me. Or... He would be, if not for this discussion taking probably over a minute. Oh, uh, no. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I could enlarge him again. I think I still have one. Um, we'll try something else first, but I can can make him big again if I need to. Shoo. Little boy. Oh, He's it feels still... so not right now. Big. Um. All right, I want to try and scoop out the innards then. I love oh, help. I don't know what, what with. Going straight in. Yeah, probably with the gloves. I don't know. I was using her sword. Oh wait, can she use her uh, shield like a shovel? Can... Hmm. Would um mage hands be any use here? Can lift things that are up to ten pounds. I think it's five. Aww. Is it five? Can I use it to shuffle through the corpse? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a normal discussion. <laughs> I mean... I guess technically if they're scooping out the innards, you can use Mage Hand to, like, brush through the pile of guts. I do that. Okay. Um. What check would this be? <laughs> you know, essentially harvest. You're trying to harvest parts of this creature. Yeah. Um. Somebody give me a survival check at advantage. Just um, one person. I can do it. Um. Okay. Uh, one second, sorry. Oh god, where is she? Rose not the best. Okay. Between the two of you. Um, you get most of the, uh, the guts outside of its body. Mm -hmm. Um, you are both covered in blood. Ugh. Cool throws up. I like rubs his back. The first time. No, huh? you do not want to do that. Huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Mage Hands means he's not using his actual hands. Uh, he, he, yeah. They were saying you and me are covered in blood, so if you go over to Quill and pat his back when you're like dripping him with blood, that's probably not going to help. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, Isla didn't think about that. <laughs> oh, God. Meevil, Meevil tries to distract Vasca from what's going on over there. He is, at this point, probably just sitting down against the cable. Uh, because for him, this short bit of combat was just exhausting. Mm -hmm. He still has uh, at least a couple penalties from everything that happened. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, she, he, she's still like just talking to him and yep. trying to avert his eyes from that. Um. Yeah. 
Yeah, I got. I guess I got a roll on the treasure table. What do you guys get? Is it would still be unrefined gems? Yeah, I was thinking that. Or or metals, technically. Um, any yeah, because it eats precious metals and stones. Uh, what would it have found here? I want a table that puts it in order, please. Thank you. Um, all right, now what are the odds that Donk actually cracked something? Likely. I feel yeah. like that's fair enough because, like, yeah, of course, we're shaking it up. Look at how I said we'd harvest it. I feel like in a lot of cases we would have given up sooner. <laughs> so I think it's only fair at least some of them are cracked, if that's the case. Yeah, my thoughts on it. Um, you find a what would have been one whole gem uh but you find three chunks of raw garnet oh, I'll pick it up. I'll put it in I got my patches so I'm going to start I mean, it could probably go in the back of holding hey is that better probably okay yeah, yeah probably all right, uh, Sparks, are you able to add to that right now, or should I write it down? So three chunks of garnet? Yeah. Three chunks of raw garnet. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that makes sense. They survive. Garnet's really hard. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess... Technically, specifically, violet garnet. There are different shades of garnet. <clears throat> and on this table, they value them differently. You said violet garnet? Yes. Okay. Um, and then you find... I would say one actual whole thing of uh, raw alexandrite. Alexandrite? <laughs> yep, got it done. Well, that's it. Okay, cool. Um... That this cave system wasn't actually terribly rich in precious metals and materials. I was thinking those are kind of, but they're really pretty. They can be worth a, a small amount. Um, um, I don't think technically any of you would have any experience in what they could be worth. No, we just we just Try. hoard. Um, when it comes to the other ones, the other rock dudes, do they just like fall to pieces or are we able to try and harvest them as well for anything? Those are actually just well, rocks. So technically two of them were actually just boulders um, that were animated by the first one. Right. Uh, but the first one is still mostly just boulder and rock. Uh, um, there's nothing worth harvesting out of them uh, 
technically, I guess, of the original one, the stone that they're made out of would be possibly, like, vaguely useful. Hmm. I mean, we could pick up a, we could pick up a bit of it. They would have more innate magical essence in them, technically. Can we tell which ones are that? Well, your spell. Because, I mean, I don't know if we collect the whole damn thing, because that's rocks, but it might be worth taking some. Um, otherwise, I mean, sorry, if, if Quill isn't there or anything to, to say about that. Um, Val! What, what oh. did you, what did you want me to do? Uh, would it be detect magic to tell that sort of thing? Um. Or would we just be able to tell which one was first? Okay, I don't know if we know. Guess that would actually hand? help. Um, you did. I was just going to say that if you want to, uh, get, get more of the poison... She's gonna start walking up to you oh. and she's covered in blood. Um here, Val, uh, take the gloves. And she's taking them off. Um. Uh, thanks. For the plants. Uh, right. They're covered. She, uh, she takes her two fingers and just holds yeah. them up. Yeah. I pressed the digitation and clean them. Oh, oh my god. And then I also do that on my rope to clean the vomit off of them. <laughs> um, I assume the blood padded on your back as well. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, let me go to my tablet. One second. Okay. Oh. Oh. Alright. I'm gonna hold my breath and... Yeah, go to the thingy, I guess. Okay. Um. Wait, wait, wait. Did we tie the rope? No. We can't. Do you stop me? Do that. Do you stop me? Val. Well, uh, uh, I think we should maybe use the rope again. Jaffel still has it tied around her ankle. <laughs> yes, yeah, it looks like it's been used. Huh? Oh, it's my rope. Yeah, give me my rope back, Jeff. <laughs> she lifts her ankle. <laughs> I like this one tight. Are we able to get it on Vale? Yeah, I'm going over there. Tied around her waist. There you go. Okay, go for it. Tied around her waist. Let's slide it in. Slide it in. Yep. All right, you tied it. Okay, now Val can go. Okay, she does the thing. <laughs> she goes, okay. holding her breath. Keep in mind, uh, for you. Holding your breath, you have about 30 seconds. Oh, God. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, God. Constitution. Because, because of your constitution score, you have 30 seconds. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. she should be able to dash and stuff, right? Let's be super fast. Yes, you can go super fast and kick up a slight breeze to get all this powder everywhere. Yeah. Alright. She goes. Alright. Uh, now are you just grabbing the jar or what? Like, what are you, what are you doing? How, how many seconds is it, is it to get from like the edge of the circle to the jar? At most, like, ten. Okay. 
It's okay. also at this point um, without without Isla's uh, spell up, you can't remember. You can't tell where the edge was. Um. Well, she's gonna try for some. <laughs> All right. So you're going to go and grab the jar and then try and get some of the leaves? So, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you grab the jar. Um, the, the jar itself is covered in powder, but you at least have the gloves on. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you start to harvest some of the leaves, you're lungs are already kind of aching just for holding your breath mm -hmm. uh, so i'm gonna need sleight of hand to get some of the leaves okay and then you are kind of pushing yourself so i would need a, a constitution saving throw more just for holding your breath oh my god Okay. So you are able That's to never happened. That's you are time. able to partially force yourself through not breathing. <laughs> um Yeah, you get some leaves. Do you keep going? Um Do I be greedy? Is what you're asking. Uh, fuck it, yeah. One more try. Okay. Um, I'll continue off the sleight of a hand, but I need another constitution saving throw. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. The the second one, you go to cut off some more leaves. Kind of, your foot slips a little on the powder, and you just instinctually gasp and then start <laughs> breathing in. I mean, there's not a ton of powder in the air. It's more of the skin oh. than anything. Oh, is it? I see. <laughs> All right. You gotta shake, shake it out of your fur. Mm. So it's a, okay. I mean, so far you haven't gotten any on your your fur, or your skin, or anything. So you're okay. Oh, well, she's <laughs> gonna keep going, I guess. What she can get? I don't know. Okay. Uh. Give me a second sleight of hand, because you are continuing a bit past it. Yeah. That's a religion. <laughs> oh my god, please. Are you... If he's praying, there you go. get out of there. Okay, yeah, you continue harvesting some leaves. Um, it, it's really just how, how far do you want to keep pushing it? <laughs> Uh, I think you can come back now. <laughs> Someone pull the rope. Oh gosh, we could. Hang on tight. I love pull the rope. I would say, probably at this point, the the jar is full of leaves. Oh, cool. Hmm. So yeah, she's that, good. She'll she'll your, go back. That's your I was say, that's your stopping point. Is the jar is full. Yeah, the jar is full. You, you, oh my goodness. <clears throat> what's, literally, what's the worst thing that can happen? I think the worst thing that have that could happen, happened. Was Jaffel was asleep and then we got attacked. Mm-hmm. 
Well, the the worst thing that happened that could happen would be you fall asleep and drop the jar again, and then someone else needs to go back in to try to get the jar again, and then we do that on loop for the next three hours. But you know. Mm -hmm. Um. How about she's gonna roll badly, and some that's not gonna be good. She walks. I don't know if she already walked back, but she's she's back. Whatever. If I uh, if there's anything on her, I I clean her. Okay. I mean, I'd hope you clean the the jar and the gloves at least. Yeah, for sure. Oh okay, yeah, you have a a jar full of. Uh, you could probably fit about two dozen leaves in there. So, twenty four leaves of. I might as well give you the name of this plant. Uh, Sleeping clouds. Aw, that's cute. Are you able to write that one down, uh, Sparks, or do you want me to write it down? Uh, I'm doing it. Okay. 24. Cloud leaf. So, 24, sorry, what? 24, 24 leaves of sleeping clouds. After all this watch, it'd be like very cheap. I'm making some of it into poison. Yeah. It's like it's the, the poor man's sleep spell, basically. Clouds. 24 leaves of sleeping clouds. Okay. Yep. All right, that's added. Yay, we got loot. Mm -hmm. There were no other, no other eggs. Is there? Sorry. Go on. I want the mushrooms. <laughs> no. No. I want the mushrooms. I mean, theoretically, I should be able to mage hand them into a jar so that we don't need to. Assuming I can get close enough, but 30 feet, so. That'd be cool. Did I, they went off when I was like right there, huh? Or when me and Jeff were right there. Yeah, you got pretty close to him. Yeah, so you should be able to. Can we confirm saying... this section is a dead end before we start to wander off? No, not right now. Right now. Oh. Okay, no, I I, right I just don't want to go back and forth a bunch of Meow. But, uh... I didn't see anything over there, but you can look around. Probably safe. Well, I can tell you where to go that won't, like, make you fall asleep forever. If you want. But what if you want to fall asleep forever? Um. That's why you're not here. Well, I guess this would be a good place for it, but, uh... But we don't want to do that. Speak for yourself. Nah, you don't want to do that either. You wouldn't leave Vasco alone. 
No, I gotta wait until Raton's uh, in, out of that place. All right, so Quill, you want to look around? Sure. Can we inspect the this section? The edges of I'll, the walls, I'll, specifically? I'll guide you around so you don't get uh, sleepy. Okay. Um... Isla, are you recasting the detect spell? Oh, I have to, huh? Yeah. I do have a spell or two left. Yep, it's my last level one. All right, I recast it. Sorry, I'm back. What's going on? Bill's looking for a secret exit. Okay. Nice. So is is it just the two of us? Um looking for an exit, yeah, probably. Out yeah. of this room. Too risky. Do uh, we find anything, Alex? Sorry, I was uh, trying to show the areas in which they would affect. Okay. Uh, make an investigation check. One moment. Oh. Oh. Uh, um, the most you find is a rock that looked like it had a bite taken out of it. Fascinating. Well, I suppose we can head back, collect a few mushrooms, and then mm -hmm. carry on. Make sure Mival doesn't uh, inhale fumes. What's that supposed to mean, Isla? Trying to protect you? Mm-hmm. That's my job. I don't need you looking over me like some weird mom. Too late. Well, there I'm not any to me, so. need for anyone to get particularly close, so no need to worry about that. What? Getting close to the mushrooms? Is that what we were talking about? Oh, yeah. Right? Because that's what friends do. Right. Yeah. She loves me. Welcome back to the cave map. Yay. Oh, wait, no, I don't like this cave anymore. What? Got whomped by a big weird thing. I didn't like it. Is the rumbling still going, or... Well, I guess it stopped when we went in that room, but... Right. Is there any more rumbling, I should say? Make a perception check. Give me a second, I'm not even in the same room. 
Oh, also, we could probably have Vasca check again to make sure we didn't just kill the elementals he was sensing. That's true. Does it count it's more. for, um, what do you call it? Uh, dead ones as well, though? Or only alive creatures? For his sense? That's a good question. Wait, what am I rolling again? Sorry. Per uh, perception. Thank you. Oh, can I do a perception too? As we're walking around? Uh, sure. What are you looking for? Just looking. Just listening, mostly. Okay. You hear absolutely nothing. Hmm. Strange. It's dead silent in here, guys. I'll take that as a good sign. Mm. Where'd the rumblings go? Maybe it was from those fellas. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah actually. Good. good point. That's good. Do we want to? Buddy. I mean, he uh, has it in him. He, he can. Uh, can I just ask him if he knows if it'll uh, do dead creatures and alive creatures or not? Uh, it would it would not count dead creatures? Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe, that's, that's cool. If you're up for it, buddy, it might be worth uh, checking if we're still in the right right area. I mean, he's running out of spells at this point, but. Well, we'll probably rest before too long, right? Little... We could go back to that cave. Mm -hmm. Hmm? The safe one. Hmm. But wouldn't we have to fly there? You can climb. I'll just be careful. Of course. Yeah, I mean, he can cast it. I'm just asking if he would, I guess. I'm like, hey, buddy. Sure. All right, then. Go ahead. Uh, yes, there are still elementals. Yeah. Well, so there's more of them at least. We can't tell if the one we're looking for. Yeah. That's true, but I think either way, we should probably go somewhere safe to rest and come back once we have all of our stuff back. Do we want to get the mushrooms first and then? Yeah. I mean, I'm happy either way, but that doesn't seem like a problem to me. I can ritual cast Tiny Heart, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Okay. I don't have it prepared, but I assumed. All right, so what are you guys doing? Mushrooms, going back, going back up, up the... Mushrooms, and then From to a safer cave, and then back. Okay. So you go back to the, the cavern with the mushrooms in it. Um, mm -hmm. How are you doing this? Uh, Mage Hand. I want to get as far away as I can and still be able to mage hand it uh, the range is 30 feet and then I'm assuming mage hand, take the jar go over, place the jar on the ground put some mushrooms in it carry the jar back should work, right? Okay. 
Um, yeah, you can mage mage hand over the the jar. I guess there wouldn't be. I could do something to check if I can control it well enough not to like destroy them as I'm trying to take them. But, yeah, that's what I'm trying to think. Um, would that be Arcana? Or. No, it'd be a spell casting check. So do straight intelligence? Okay. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm gonna also give you with that natural twenty. Nice. After you fill up the jar with the mushrooms, it's gonna be too heavy for Mage Hand to bring back. Mm -hmm. huh. <laughs> You did too good of well, a that's job. the opposite of what I wanted, Alex. Suffering from success. <laughs> <laughs> how, how big of a jar is it? Like a mason jar, I think. I mean, I had. Wait, is this from me? Yeah, because I had a few different types. Sure. Um, I don't know what our biggest it... one we would have gotten was, because I know I got like some. This is true. I got some 2B ones. There's no way in hell a mason jar full of mushrooms is going to weigh more than 10 pounds. I feel like they heavy-ass mushrooms. Because, yeah, I had definitely some 2B ones, probably ones up to a mason jar. I don't know if I had any. I had pouches bigger than that, but I don't know if I had jars. Let me see what I have in my inventory. I don't know if I really specified. I just remember, I don't know why, but I was majorly specific about which ones we got at the time. Um, Let me see. What is 10 pounds? I don't know why I always thought Mage Hand was 5 pounds. I guess how much can you lift with a hand, usually? Okay, look, look okay, so I've, it, they're set as bottles, but that's what they were. So a small bottle of 0 0.5 liter, got four of those, and larger bottles of 2.5 liters, two of those. And for pouches, they should be there, there somewhere, but I have no idea. Iron mesh I mean, purse like, I like, have, but... 2.5 liters would be larger than a soda bottle, so... Mm -hmm. But where is my... I don't think I ever... I swear I wrote down somewhere the bloody pouches, too. I thought you did. I know you got a bunch of them. I got plenty, yeah, a bunch of different colors. Um... Maybe I put them in the equipment or something different. Yeah, I, I think the smaller bottles would be fine. But I think the the larger ones, if they were completely filled with mushrooms. I'm trying to think if that would be over 10 pounds. Um, I feel like most of the way it would come from the jar itself, mushrooms are pretty light. But is that the same for D and D mushrooms? Psychedelic. That's a good question. I mean, if if it's if it's too heavy, I can just start taking the mushrooms out one at a time until the hand can lift it back up. I think I think you can get the small one just fine. I think the the oh. large bottles, just due to the weight of the glass, would be too much. I do have my pouches small down. Sorry, but it just fine. says I'm three sure. pouches. Um, well, yeah, it does say it's zero point five liters. So what does I don't know what that would equal to? And, you can, and I have four of those. So if you wanted to take more, you can take more. Um, assuming what we would we have used for because it was just a jar because I assumed it was a jar but based on the things that I have what do we use for the leaves would it have been the larger bottle or would it have been the smaller bottle would it have had to be the smaller bottle 
It wasn't mage handed, so it could be the larger bottle. So I would assume the larger one. Okay, cool. So we've used one larger bottle for that. So I'm just going to put like a used one. Um, okay, so that means it's four small bottles if you really want to use them. But I know you have to, would probably have to do mage hand separately like three times or something to do that. But yeah, so. That's fine. It's, it's free, so. Okay, so, so how many would you want to use? That's crazy. Lula looks at me, Val. How many? How many do you do you want? If you could get another bottle, that'd be great. That way, we could just sell one bottle to. So we'll go two, wow. two little bottles. Yes. All right. Cool. So one just there, and then one for me to Eight, refine. Two. I'll just make sure you're writing Where's down the, the actual bag? amount in the um, what do you call it um. The pouch thing because I um I'm Who's just saying it's used. <laughs> Who's writing this down? Okay, so uh, that would be you have to be you, Val. I think for the what do you fucking call it? Fucking special bag pouch holding. bag of holding. Fuck me. Anyway, um, I'm just saying that I've used the bottle, so I've used one of the large one and used two of the other one. Um, but as long as you have it written down the actual what it's used for, then that's fine. Give me like. <laughs> mm -hmm. A second, I'll probably ask later, like, because it's like two bottles of whatever, but yeah. yeah. Do you want to just post it in the D&D &D chat for now? Please. Please. Just uh, as a record, maybe. Okay, one sec. So what's that? So two, one point, zero point five here. Bottles. What type of mushrooms is it? Do we know? Oh, uh, is hallucinogenic? Uh, psychic cop, uh, copper. What? Yeah, psychic Some. copper foot. Yeah, it makes me think of copper spark. Uh, copper foot. Ooh. <laughs> no, um, you know. Just and me. it was one, two point five L bottle. Of you probably already wrote this down, but um, what was it called again? Sorry, it was the cloud, some cloud. Um, sleeping clouds. Sleeping. Oh, that was a cute name. Yeah, that's those two. Um, also, I do still have the the mesh one. I think we lost used that for the killer flowers, or maybe something else, but I don't think we've used it since. Yes. So that's an available one for me too. And I, yeah, did see pouches. I didn't say what they hold, but I've got three pouches. <laughs> that's all I know. So. <clears throat> also, as a note, I'm going to clean the outside of bulk jars before anyone touches them after we're done filling them up. Thank you. Okay. Boo. I mean, if you want to go eat a mushroom dunk, I would recommend against it, though. Maybe when we're not in the caves. Yeah? Why would you do that? I wouldn't do that. I, I really wouldn't do that if I were you. Think you could build an immunity doing that, though? Maybe, but not in the caves. If I could, if if I could, you'd be seeing me try poison all the time to build you'd up. Just, an you'd, you'd see me evolve microdosing on shit all the time. <laughs> you, you really would, because I asked if that was a thing, and it's not. Oh, and I'm upset. No, nope, that's what magic did before. It's like when you you shoot yourself with smaller bullets so that you can build up immunity to the larger ones. Sure. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so you got the mucker. Mm-hmm. Do we want to go rest? Yeah. Yes, please. 
Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, we're pretty worn out. Maybe outside. If we want to. I was gonna say if we want to stay in the cave, I can tiny hut, but I can also tiny hut outside of the cave. So. All right, tiny hut. It's kind of a walk to get in there, though, right? Yeah, because we had to fly to this cave. I mean, there's also the argument of would they even still be here if you guys rested? I mean, Vasco might like, technically wake up. Are, are you talking about a short rest or a long rest? I was thinking long rest. Mm -hmm. oh, whatever. Because a short rest will take you an hour, get some healing back. Um, Quill would get some spells back. I got no spells. Well, not really. I would be had a lot. I think, I think Donk would also get most of his shit back because I think most of it's on a short rest. I, I didn't I get my bombs back. I thought the I'm trying to think if your action surge is on a short rest. So I know some of the other ones changed because they're, you get multiple uses, but it's once a long rest, or not once a long rest, but it's multiple uses per long rest. But I don't think. It says short or long, but wasn't there, didn't they like change it so it has to be a long rest for action search? Or was that Stone's Endurance? That was Stone's Endurance. Because ah. that you got a couple uses of. I think even yeah, that's proficiency. True. So you should have four uses of that now. Oh. Um, okay. But I know the, the action surge in the second wind you get back on short rest as well. Okay. Well, in that case, I vote for a sec or a short rest. We could keep pushing it and try to find what we're looking for. It's still pretty early in the day, right? Not sure. Are we ready least, for another fight? As far as we know. I technically wouldn't know. Jaffa would, though. Y'all asking yeah. me? Mm -hmm. Jaffa, what time is it? Um, what time is it? I mean, y'all. So y'all didn't spend like, uh, it, probably a little over an hour in traveling just through the caves and shit. Uh, also with the harvesting, you could only do that so fast with a single mage hand. You're probably looking at like an hour before noon. It's an hour before noon. Hmm. <laughs> cool. You want to know which way north is? Uh, no. I do. What, what, what way is north? Okay, 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 okay. She does a little spin and points north. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. Impressive. Is it like towards like a rock wall? I just love imagining her like pointing like a like a hound dog. I also <laughs> love that none of us have any way of verifying any of this information. <laughs> yeah. So you have no just... idea if it's actually north. You're just gonna have to trust me. That's it. Mivel believes wholeheartedly. Well, which I am glad for, but I have also proven it on a number of occasions too, which I'm glad. Well, yeah. Um, I'm gonna, she's always... yeah, always believed that's true. Um, I'll also druid craft just to see what the weather's gonna be for funsies inside the cave. I mean, yeah, if it starts storming outside, we could be in some trouble. Um, the rest of the day is fine. By morning, it's storming. Okay. Good to know. Short rest then? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't get anything back from a short rest, do I? Uh, I can double check. I don't think you I do. will too, but I'm pretty sure I don't. I'm... That's the only I thing I'm worried about is either. I won't have any bombs. Um, you regrain the experiment when you finish it. Yeah, long rest. Dang it. Long rest. Yup. 
呃。Mevo looks worriedly at Vasca, who has expended a lot of his spells and whatever. I mean, we can he's, do a long rest. He's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say short rest, you're looking at an hour. Long rest, you're looking at eight hours. Yeah. Um, if I had to vote, I would do the long rest. Yeah, all of my stuff is long rest. I'm reading it. So long, long rest? Preferably. Only because if we do manage to get into another fight, which is basically what we're looking for, I cannot heal you, cunts. Basically, it'll like I, I've got like I can heal you twice. I've got maybe one decent one, but it can it's like can only heal like one person at a time. Yeah, I, I would do long rest. I'm trying to save lay I mean, on hands for the surprisingly you, poisonous cave. You can you can upcast most of your healing. Yeah, but mm -hmm. it's only That's generally one target. I've got the big boy, so, of course, uh... but yeah. Question, yeah. and this is. I acknowledge that this is probably a bad idea, but could we send the people who only need a short rest to scout ahead? Ayo, you want party. to split the party? You want to split the party? I yeah. live. Honestly, I'd be down, bro. I mean, not for you to die, but it'd be curious. Curiouser and curiouser. Um, mm. But I would prefer. I prefer. Yeah, both of the healers need to. One of the healers would have to go with a short rest then, because otherwise that's fucked. Well, we can just take a long rest. It was just a suggestion. Yeah. To save some time, but. I mean, in the end, if we want to discuss that, that's fine too. We all could scout. No, she shouldn't. She should. She's gonna go back to get more mushrooms. Nah, she's good. Scouting for <laughs> mushrooms. So you have, you have at least two jars full, so. Yeah, she's she's good. One's for Sarah, one's for her. Did we end up getting the rocks? Um, the rock? I, don't, I don't think that was ever finished, so no. Pain. Okay, that's fine. Wait, what? Rocks. I thought we said we were doing that, but yeah, I think we just forgot. Sorry. You mean like the golem guys? Yeah, the just the magic, magical, the, little ones. the magical rocks. Yeah, collect a few of those in some pouches. If we go back there, we'll do it. Sorry. Um. But yeah. So. I'm cool if people do want to scout ahead, do whatever, but make a choice, please. I got this. So a bunch of us are doing a long rest. I am. Mm -hmm. I have, um... Oh. I also have my assuming. Like, can you leave Tiny Hut, or do you have to be around it for it to work? Uh, Quill can't leave, but everyone else can. Um... Because I have the Hearth of the Moonlight and Shadow, which isn't as good, but it's not too bad. Like, I don't mind scouting, but I'd like to short rest first. Yeah. All right, let's do it then. At the very least, that's something we're doing. I could also roll some hit dice, I think. Yeah, for sure. Ritual casting still costs a spell slot, right? Or does it? Nope. Oh, shit. That's great. That's the whole point. That's wonderful. Uh, 
I'm gonna what it, it's ten minutes. Spend that setting up tiny hut somewhere okay. wherever we decide to stay. Are we staying here? I suppose so. Yeah, I think so. Take a nap on the corpse of our enemies. We are resting here, though. Mm -hmm. I'd like to roll my hit dice. Okay. Um, Vasca also has the, the, the Song of Rest. What's that? What's that? Uh, whenever you hold, roll hit dice to heal, you also get uh, a small bonus. Mm. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I'm going to roll at least two. I think I'm going to roll three, actually. Bing. Is he actually is he actually doing songs? Um, yeah, I would assume to get this benefit. Yeah, yeah, you have to at least play something or sing or something. How to role play now? Twenty one. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a song. <laughs> It's just fucking uh, sparks. Alex. <laughs> My arcane recovery would let me restore five levels worth of spell slots. Think so. I think yeah. it's one of the only. I think it's one of the only thing that's rounded up. Yeah. Yeah. It is rounded up. Well, I can yeah, get my level yeah. back. Five levels. I only used two slots during that, right? Yes. Elemental Bane and Hypnotic Pattern. Okay. Um, Mavol uh, is entranced with Vasca's singing. If if anyone heals during this rest, uh, get an extra d6. Hmm. Nice. Uh, he is also going to try and heal, though. Plus a d6. Okay, so 11 for the start. Oh, uh, so it's a roll of d6, my bad. <laughs> you just add a d6. I'll take that. I'll take six. I, mean, I, only, I literally need one uh, health. So. No, that's funny. <laughs> it's okay. And there it is. Okay. Because fate. Uh, he did two defensive flourishes. Um, All right, so everyone is at least doing a short rest. Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess you would arguably use this. Mm -hmm. So he has an, an ability called Detect Portal, um, which just detects if there is a planar portal within uh, a mile of you. 
uh, but it comes back on a short rest. So I would say technically he could use the first instance of it and then get it back on a short rest. And it comes up negative, hopefully. No. Oh, oh no. Um, I was going to say, with, within a mile, uh, actually, does for the detect portal, uh, he knows the distance and direction. Um, so after doing that, he would point, leave it be mostly east. What is it, Lacey? Yeah, east by southeast. Um, but he would point off in a direction at about three quarters of a mile. Uh, there is a portal opening there. Oh, gosh. Brother. That looks like bad news. Um, this may be slightly out of our depth. Unless we know how to close portals. Like it looks at Which I don't. Fucking Vasca. <laughs> might wanna you, know, you might wanna message Travis. Mmm. Good idea. Cool nods and pulls out the sending stone. Uh, you want me to do it again? Sweet thing. All right. I, I think I I think I got it this time. <laughs> um, thanks. Give me one sec to write this up. Oh, good.
I leave you all on here too? Huh? Never mind. Okay. Uh, cool's gonna send this. Hmm. Gotta love how he ends it with best. Just that little mmm. Got, gotta be polite. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. Uh, you get this back. I tell them that. No crud. This sounds like it's our job to get it dealt with, guys. Um, is this, this is before we've actually had a short rest, huh? Uh, this oh. would technically be after. Okay. Um. Does, uh, I does guess... anyone know what goes mm -hmm. into stopping a portal from opening? Looks at Vasco. It really hard. <laughs> Any ideas? Sorry, what? I'm looking at Vasca. You know how to shut the portal? Why? Why would I know how to? <laughs> I mean, 
You're like a Horizon Walker dude. That's that's a little more than I know about planes and elemental things. I think we just hit it really hard. Do you think it's like a ritual thing if you break uh, it early? Interrupt it. Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, now's any good a time as any. I suppose the first step would be finding it. Well, we know exactly where it is, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it ish. It, it was it east. A little while? It was east, west, east, west, <clears throat> east. It was. East by southeast, so not quite southeast, but a little bit more east than normal. Um, and about three quarters of a mile in that direction. Is it underground, or...? I only imagine so. I don't know. I mean, we should try going in that direction, then. See if we can stop it, I suppose. Best I can tell you, it's that way in a certain distance. Let's go! Chop, chop! She dusts herself up. If we need more information, we do have a second sending stone to Travis, right? Yes. So if we get there and can't figure it out, then I guess. Yep. Sounds like a plan. She cracks her bones. Let's go. And it works for me. Also, why is Vasca shooting, shooting Jaffel's feet? Because he's about to ruin your life. Um. Okay. So he looks very good, by the way. Anyway. Um. Okay. Fuck. Fuck it. Let's, oh yeah, I'm back. Let's do it then. Go. What are we doing? We're uh trying to stop a portal from opening. Yeah, I agree. So I, I guess I get Vasca to either lead the way or okay. Um, <clears throat> I mean, once once he loses the. The detection. It's just kind of trying to figure out it, 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 where relatively you are. Mm -hmm. Actually, it just appears as a radar blip, so he can't even concentrate on it to like make it last. Uh, so don't think he would be the greatest at leading? Well, if he can point the way, then Jaff will lead. That's fine. Would it be a survival? Yeah. Okay. Wait, I'll we'll go based off at least where he initially said and everything like that. Okay. Um, I mean, the only way out of here is kind of back the way you came a little bit. Mm -hmm. That would get you about there. And then you kind of continue off in the only way you can go. Um, from this split, you're kind of looking at you need to head more of an eastward direction. So it's it's really the question of do you take this like northeastern path or do you go back to like more of the beginning of the cave and try and go that way? I'm feeling beginning of the cave. 
Oh, sorry, I was muted. Yeah, I'm happy to do the beginning of the cave. I wasn't sure where you were pointing, but that makes sense. I could scout if you want. I could scout this way a little bit. Oh, actually, I did not realize how late it was. Yeah, this is true. Mm -hmm. I realized it was early two o'clock. Yeah. Might just be a better idea to end it here. Before <laughs> we die. Yeah, that's true. But that's all right. That means mm. we'll be probably won't die. Probably. But to be fair, according to the the combat calculator that I used, that previous fight was arguably a deadly encounter, and it went perfectly fine. Yeah, that was I. Isla did not feel good. Did big it, damage. That charm was working overtime. That's true. <laughs> that charm was bullshit. Mm-hmm. <laughs>